that Avatar show and the movies and they had the Netflix Airbender show and all that. The biggest thing that they all missed out on, truthfully, what, what where they where they took the L in my opinion, where they took the L the worst had to be it just had to be the uh You know what? I changed my mind. I changed my mind. We don't have to go down that rabbit hole today. <laughs> Hi guys, it's me, it's Nate. I'm feeling pretty good. We're just gonna play SC2 today. That's the game plan. And maybe, maybe something else later during the week. I don't know. Uh, I wanted to get a little bit of editing done this morning, so that's what I did. That's what I spent my morning doing. I got things set up for a little bit of... I think I got like a video out and I was doing a little bit of clip hunting, but didn't quite find, I didn't really quite find anything that I was looking for. So that's about it. That's really about it. Just been a very chill weekend. Katie and I watched, we watched the rest of the Fallout series. We watched all the Fallout stuff. We um, uh, started another uh, rewatch of Modern Family. And um, I mean, this is like the first minute of the stream, really. So... I'll go. We'll do our deep dive stuff later. You know, usually we'll get we'll get a few more a few more people in here before we before we start rambling. I am searching for a game though. We are searching for the first game of the day, so it's all going to be okay. Lewis has approached. He has approached the desk. He would like to know if he can have. I don't know. What do dogs like? Food, right? Hey. Hey, it's okay. Is there some funky weather outside? I saw some storm clouds. It looks pretty bad out there. I think Lewis is spooked by the weather. You okay, buddy? You okay. Neither that or he's like, oh, dad's anxious. Dad's playing StarCraft again. I can tell he's getting a little anxious. He knows, he knows me. He knows me better than I know myself. Mm -hmm. So I just try to do what he wants me to do, you know, give him a little head scratch, give him a little head scratch. I'm not gonna fight the pooch. I'm not gonna fight him. I love him too much. Alright, we got a game. Let's go. Let's go. It's Monday, Lewis. Everyone's watching the Weekly Cup, and you know, we we don't stream on the weekends, so it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Everything is a-okay. But yeah, feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Had a nice, uh, had a nice, nice weekend. Got to spend a little bit of time with uh, father-in-law, so that was nice. Jamie, he's a he's a great dude, really, really great guy. So, beyond that, not really much else going on, you know. We're we're doing our we're doing our thing, doing our thing day to day, day to day, every which way, etc. So, GLHF coming out of him. It's a Terran versus Terran. Typically in this matchup, my favorite thing to do is gas first build. Proxy Reaper feels like it has fallen off so much and it, it brings me great joy it brings me great joy that I don't really have to deal with proxy reaper to the extent that I used to with how much I hated playing against it even with this cyclone kind of getting neutered in this patch the extra health that they gave it still makes it a little bit difficult for reapers to break them so Terran versus Terran early game Feels a lot more stabilized. That being said, I mean, Proxy Marauder still exists. There's still a lot of different ways that people can get crazy aggro and try to get all up in your face. I think last week I must have must have gotten hit with that. You guys know what I'm talking about. The Siege Tank Viking, like one base. A lot of people have been doing that. That's just crazy. That's got to be the hardest thing to deal with. Probably why they do it, especially if they've played me before. So, 
I do have some strategies where I can go tank Viking myself and usually beat anybody that tries to do stuff like that. So maybe we'll think about for some of the ranked games today. For some of the ranked games, we can think about doing a couple of try hard builds, you know, um, in that in that manner, in that manner, in that vein, etc. So we might not we might not necessarily do it every game, but I'm thinking that there's no reason why we can't go like mass Viking a couple of games today. It really just depends on how many TVTs we play. I think we don't we don't have any idea yet of who's online. Sometimes sometimes we play a lot of Terran. Sometimes we play a lot of the others. So my thought process today is pretty straightforward. I want to mix it up a little bit with some of the strats. My new TVP strategy I started doing last week has been just fantastic. I don't have any complaints. So that's really it. I don't. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I'm sweating too much. Gonna get a cheeky quick BC. It's just how I roll, you know? It's just how I roll. Like Katamari Damacy rolls around. You guys remember that game on the PS PS2? There was a there was a Katamari game on the PSP as well. They made a PSP version of it. I also highly enjoyed that. Katamari uh, Damacy on PSP was maybe one of the more hyped games that came out for that console. As weird as that might sound. I don't remember it being hugely popular in the U.S., but people who play, people who had PSPs, people who had PSPs and like those Reddit's and those forums and stuff, they were all pretty. They were all pretty big on it. They were all pretty big on it. It was it was a big deal. Okay, you don't have to you don't have to be Katamari Damacy fans, but it was a big deal. I remember it was the PSP ended up getting such little first party support because it was one of the most easy to pirate on consoles ever made. Like it it basically basically got fully jailbroken iPhone style very early in its life. So it hardly ended up having any big games released for it. But of the of the big games that came out, I think the Vita ended up. Can't remember. Maybe, maybe the PSP had one. The little Big Planet game that was supposed to be the one that like saved it. But the PS Vita took many years to get hacked. But they were so scared. They were like they had no confidence in it. They were so scared that the Vita was gonna get hacked immediately, like it had uh, previously like the PSP, that they, they basically said, we're not gonna make any good games for this because we just expect them to, we expect them all to get like crazy amounts of piracy, basically. They're like, we just have zero, we have zero confidence in this product to not, uh, not just get hacked like the last one. And then it just didn't, it actually didn't get hacked for a really crazy long time. But in spite of that, it still affected the console. The biggest games it really got were some ports of uh, other main console games. Like the PS Vita had Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, and 1. You could play on it. Pretty cool. This game's been ported to a decent amount of systems, which is nice. Metal Gear Solid 3 even got ported to the Nintendo DS, uh, the 3DS rather, which is pretty crazy. It has definitively the most features of any of the versions of the game that were released because you can take you can take photographs with the Nintendo 3DS's camera and the camera would literally allow you to the camera would li literally allow you to take a picture of anything and wear it as your camo in the game which was very broken because there were a lot of it was the only way to get 100% camos in the game outside of a few really difficult to unlock ones but you didn't need to do anything difficult to unlock it all you had to do is take a picture of like some real grass just literally take a photograph of anything super solid green wear it as a camo and then you would just be at 100 percent stealth anytime you were in grass like it it was it was a little out of hand that's all i'm gonna say Like, as an idea, as an idea, it's incredible. It completely broke the balance of the game. So, like, don't do it if you want to play the game for real. But 
at the same time, having that option, having the option to do that, like just to mess around. I mean, isn't that also just kind of dope? Isn't that isn't that also friggin' friggin' sweet, man? You know, like. On one hand, it's definitely it definitely breaks the balance of the game. On the other hand, if you're aware of that, you can actively avoid it if you haven't played the game before. That's really about it. There just needs to be a huge warning the first time you do it. That's like, hey man, this game's about to go from somewhat somewhat interesting and difficult to trivial easy trivial levels of easy. Are you prepared? Are you prepared to switch the game to like babby mode? And then then maybe maybe that would like get across like what what people's concerns in this situation are. Yeah, see, that's what I mean, though. Look, he, like, attacked me and stuff. I don't like that. He pushed me. He tried to kill me, bro. Get your motto, Nate. Get your motto. Hey, Jasmine Owl. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, so that's it. That's all I got going on. I saw a Reddit post with a title that said uh, Pepsi accidentally put sugar into a zero sugar product and they initiated a recall of of something i don't know i don't know if that's like major headline news today stonk market is not uh not looking so good mr stark aside from that i don't know not much else not much else happening relatively chill monday over here it's a little little chilly little rainy little cloudy little standard pacific northwest action Your base just for to He got one of them. That's brutal. Research complete. <laughs> you know, I think I have played this guy a few times, huh? People are catching on to my antics a little. I might have to go mass viking the next time I play this guy. That'll be pretty funny. That'll be pretty good. Your base is getting blasted. Your research has completed. But we're obviously in some pretty bad pretty bad shape this game. I don't think I don't think we're going to win. I don't think we can win. I'm not I'm not sure that I see a way out of this. This is really bad luck with the uh, planetary there too. You know what I mean? I should have been able to get that. I should have been able to get that uh, PF up. Terrible luck for me. Yes, Commander. You 
You see the amount of dudes we're getting out, though? It's not too bad. Got a lot of BCs on the outside now. Oh, I thought he'd... I knew he'd come for me eventually. I knew he'd I knew he'd come for me. Oh he wants to know he wants to know where my bases are. I'll take it. Yep. Your base is under siege. Yes, come You've mined out some of your minerals. Some bad guys closing in on your army. You mined out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? Upgrade complete. Now you just gotta fight, right? Oh, we got him! We broke him, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. It was a pretty, that was a pretty stressful first game, right? I mean, I'm just saying. I felt like we worked for that. I felt like we worked for that one to start things off today. Look at that. I had 2-2 two, two building armor, Yamatao, and he had 2-2, two, 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 he had 2-2 two, two plus 2. So he had a star port. He had his, he has, uh, his armor is going pretty early. But my battle cruisers being plus 2, I think, made it things a little too tough. My, I could actually engage his Vikings. He didn't have any armor for the Vikings. He made that armory earlier, but I killed it, and then I got his supply drop depot. I'm kind of curious if that depot supply blocked him earlier now. We're going. It's that weekend song. We're going back in time. I'd like to see you shine. Now, so he comes up here. You see, he's at 160 of 164. So I probably do supply block him. He's got multiple turret, multiple depots under construction. Then I kill his armory, so he can't get plus, can't get plus one armor, right? Since he already has plus two attack on the way. I kill one depot, I only get the second. Yeah, he's, and then he's blocked. So he was at 160 of 164. Now he's at 153 of 148. Now keep in mind, battle cruisers take a long time to build, and he attacked me once or twice this game, and I did throw away a few BCs. So it's, it's probably worth keeping in mind my BC count. I should have been about even supply with him. But think about how long it takes him to get past 160 from the start of this whole huge rant by me. Think about how long it takes... How long does it take for him to actually get past where I supply blocked him? Almost two whole minutes. And then he comes out to these guys thinking, okay, he might be chilling here. And that's how I bait him. Then I go for his other base and his economy just gets completely ransacked. But just uh, kind of textbook execution. I pulled him, pulled him each different way. It t he, he may not even break 170 this whole game. Which I think he was very close to doing. There it is, finally. I I wasn't sure if he was gonna break 170 supply the whole the whole time. I was just I'm like, maybe, maybe. <laughs> oh, Lewis is laying down at my feet. He never does that while I'm streaming. Oh well, he's such a good boy. And he's just laying down. He's just he's curled up. He's just laying down right there. He's got his head like right next to my feet. I'm a good dog. I think he can tell I'm not feeling super great. I've got I've got a little I've got a little something. 
giving him chin scratches. I'm giving him chin scratches right now, guys. You can't see it because we don't have the budget for a second camera, but it's happening. <laughs> and by that, I mean the processing budget performance wise. I think I think we're about tapped out today. I've got it running. I've got the stream running on YouTube. I'm running a YouTube stream, a vertical stream and the Twitch stream. So we've got a 1080p stream, a reverse 1080p stream and a 4K stream all going right now, which is awesome, which is awesome. What's going on? And we're just a little bit limited on processing power beyond that. Until uh, until I get my hands on a 4090 just as a streaming GPU. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Okay, he's laying on his bed now. He's laying on his bed. That's my, that's my pooch. I love you. And this is our Protoss, yeah, yeah. So we'll just try and do like Reaper, Cyclone, or Reaper Hellion into Banshee. That's what people in chat like. Go Banshees with tanks and Marines on the ground and uh, we'll supplement it. We transition into BCs when we need to. That's the plan. Yo, Verm, what's up, what's up? Did you watch Fallout? Katie and I are so fed up with Below Deck. There's going to be a new one today, and we're just... I'm just uh, we couldn't even get through the last episode. It's got to be the least entertaining season they've done ever. Getting rid of Captain Lee is going to go down in history as one of Bravo's biggest mistakes. Oh, he is curled up. Guys, he's curled up like a little cinnamon bun over there. Oh. I have to take a picture and send it to Katie. You saw it? Nice, nice. There he is. Oh yeah, I do, I do not care at all. Let's go, man. Let's go. GG. <laughs> hey man, that's how that guy likes to pay pay his bills. I can't stop him from turning tricks. That's how he likes to go. Good to see you, by the way, Magic Turtle and Jeff. Good to see you guys. He didn't want to play a very long game with us. You installed 76 right after? Yeah, we did too. We did too. We started playing that. We're both like, we want to play Fallout together, but there's no way for us to do that. I guess we'll just play this kind of shitty game, and then it seems like it's a little better. So, it seems like it's okay. It's passing. It's passing enough. It's passing enough. It's passing enough.
All right, we got a barcode Protoss. Let's see. Will the Protoss players allow us to macro today? That is a good question. That is a good question. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Uh, the the Protoss the Protoss will be the cheesers today is what it seems like. Taren Taren guy he was pretty chill he was pretty chill. Kind of shitty is exactly how I would describe it. Yeah yeah. I'm like it looks like maybe it'll be fun while I'm excited about Fallout. Like my wife and I can at least go through the best story content. That's kind of what we what we thought about. We saw some people basically being like, yeah, once you do the best story quest, the game sucks. And then I looked at Katie and I was like, so should we just play this for two weeks? And then we, you know, like we could just, we could just get this out of our systems. <laughs> so the next gen update for Fallout 4 is releasing on April 25th. So more or less just need to survive until then. Right. <laughs> that's, that's about it. So we're building a little, we're building our, our little camp together, and we're going and uh, hunting ghouls. It was act pr actually pretty nice. We were chilling, we were chilling in some mountainous corner, and I guess we could probably stream that too. We were chilling in some mountainous corner of the map, and uh, somebody detonated a nuke. We were not in the effective range, but there were a pretty, uh, it was a pretty big cloud to just watch go up in front of us. Like it was. It was very close. It was very close, but we were just outside the blast radius, basically. So we got to watch a we got to watch a nuke go off from the top of a mountain together. So that was pretty cool. I got to do that. Got to do that with my wife this weekend. So you know, so there there were there were a few moments that I was like, okay, we're getting some satisfaction out of this here. Hey, Jazzcraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The show? We were just talking about that. We finished it. We just finished it last night. It was so good. It was so good. I'm not going to spoilerino anything. If you haven't seen it, it's really good. If you like video games, you'll love it. If you like Fallout, you'll really love it. But they basically... They basically just went out of their way to make it as authentic as possible. That's That's really the only way I can describe it. Whether you enjoy certain creative decisions or not, it's it's about as real as it gets. It's about as real as it gets. I loved it. We both we both loved it. We deliberately did not binge it on Friday because we wanted we specifically wanted to make it last at least through the weekend. We want it. We watched like a third of it every day, so we wouldn't have nothing to do on like Sunday. <laughs> And then Ryan Gosling was on SNL on Saturday night, obviously, because that's Saturday, Nathan, you genius. And that was really good. That might be that might be one of the best episodes of SNL I've ever seen. It was very, very good. Ryan Gosling is a uh, gig alpha, mega Chad, mega Ladonis. Yeah, it's a man, the man every man aspires to be. Literal God. So that was great. Ended up just being a nice weekend. Ended up just being a really nice weekend. I've been enjoying StarCraft stuff again. You guys know that. StarCraft's felt good. I've been thinking a little bit about some of my strats. I highlighted one of the best games we played on Friday. And I put that on the YouTube channel. So if you guys are interested, that is that is there. Hallucinato Oracle, huh? Hallucinate. Hallucinathan. He's hallucinating. Ha, huh, get it? <laughs> oh, he sent another probe to build a pylon in my base. You don't find that the least bit curious? Oh yeah, well, I mean, he's probably got He's probably got several of those everywhere now, Nate. He wants you to know he's got you. He's got the clamps on you like Sauce Gardener. Beavis and Butthead. Dude, the Beavis and Butthead skit was so good. I don't... I think I missed the Avatar 2, but they... Or maybe they cut it for time, but they posted that one online after, and that was... That was... That was God tier. 
That was God tier. No, really, really good stuff. Really good stuff out of SNL this weekend. So that was nice. Yeah, Fallout show was great. 100% watch it. If you don't know anything about Fallout and you're curious if you should watch it, um, I will give you a disclaimer. Fallout is a gory game. The show features some very, uh, very gory and, uh, you know, post-apocalyptic shit. Um, so there's there's your warning. There's your there's your disclaimer. People also bang in the show. You should probably know that. There you go. Now, now, if your sensibilities aren't too delicate, you can go watch people get blown up. It's some good shit. <laughs> said the guy, said the guy who doesn't stop talking about his Saw movie addiction. Oh, he overcharged it. He overcharged it. <laughs> that mayonnaise commercial at the Super Bowl really broke me. I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to say that on stream. It's maybe one of my maybe it's like one of my Pokemon noises I make to Katie all the time. We have we have a cat, so we make cat noises in this home. And then they, they made that Super Bowl commercial where they said they revealed that all meowing just like just sounds like a cat saying the word mayo and I that broke me. As a as a as an aspiring dad joke connoisseur, it's that's exactly the it's exactly the kind of thing that just psychologically, right? You got limits. Got limits. We're talking about you know quality dad joke material. We're getting into, you're getting into some grade A like Jamaican coffee level shit right there. It's good, you know what I mean. Do you have any idea? Do you have any idea how good Jamaican coffee is? Volcano, volcano soil, coffee. Whew. You got no idea. You got no idea, do you? Research complete. Yeah, this raven is mostly just to see if there's like detection or not, basically. Let's see what you got, son of Jim. I can't believe I just held that. That's got to be one of the most ridiculous holds I've done in a long time. Did he... Oh, sorry. Did he just recall the Observer? Or did he try to recall his army? And he missed? Reminds me of that part in Batman where they're like, you know, they're like, ah, oh, he missed, but he actually threw a thing under them, and then they're like, oh, he didn't miss, guys. It turns out he's Batman. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are you telling me that the hero was deliberately aiming for their feet because he wasn't going for a lethal strike, but was simply laying a trap? Oh. Yeah, I watch movies too. I didn't use my armories at any point in this game, however. And that's it's a cardinal sin. Seriously, they'll never let me play on the Arizona Cardinals again. This is where we'd throw it to a cutaway if we had the budget.
That's the beauty of this build, this playstyle, though. You still make tanks. Still make as many tanks as you want behind it. The only thing I'm missing now is the battle cruiser transition and probably probably need building armor. You know, considering when you consider the considerations. When you consider the considerations. You got to consider all of them. Including the inconsiderate considerations. And especially the considerate inconsiderations. Well, I mean, That'd be like trying to have pie without crust. You know what I'm saying? There's no foundation. There's nothing that can be built. There's nothing that can be built on a foundationless pie. It's time. It's battle cruiser o'clock. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. We're gonna rock, rock, rock till the broad daylight. We're gonna rock, rock, rock around the clock tonight. Here we go. Five battle cruisers coming at you. Coming at you. Mate, do all your banshees have to die? Is that like a requirement? You like tell your you tell your inferior officers, you're like, yo, you better make sure everybody dies, alright? Otherwise I don't get to write it all off or something. Is this some sick twisted shit going on here, man? Oh my goodness. It just keeps going. Command center 2.0 ready. It just keeps going. Mind out a mineral field. Good thing. SCB ready. Big job. Upgrade complete. SCB ready. Hey, we're getting there. We're getting there. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> Spoiler, things were not okay. Everybody died horribly, painfully. What's going on? I'm going. You think he's like totally just oblivious to our battle cruiser mission, right? Like obviously he just doesn't know. You know what I mean? Like how could he? How could he know? There's no possible way. Feeling pretty good. Uh oh. Yeah, you want the planetary to hit right in the spot. Nate, this is where it's this this is this right here, this is where you're about to die. Oh, he does have an observer right there, huh? Was I the one being farmed like cattle? Oh, I had four scans on that and seven years ago. Keep the posture straight. There you go. There you go. Doesn't that feel good? It does. It does feel good. Free supply. I'm sorry, Marines. Unfortunately, it was the only thing you were good for in my new perfect world. <laughs> Look how many stalkers he has. Sweet Christmas. Sweet Christmas. I'm downright afraid. I'm downright, I'm downright terrified right now. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. Nate, there's only one way to do this correctly, okay? We need to swing around the outside in such a manner as that we can pick off his base. We want to pick off the base, teleport inside, go for the heart. Nope, this is it. Just go for the heart right now, right now. The heart! We attack the heart! Got a lot of artosis pylons. 
His whole entire production is offline. It's over, Snake! It should come as no surprise that my expectation would have been for you to try and repower. Like, obviously, you know? Like, really obvious. But see, the whole point of the way I set things up is it was frustrating that he killed my outer expansions. Like, I get it. But here's the here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. Here's I, I'll try to try to make it better for you if that if that helps. He he obviously lost a lot. But he can't base trade me, which is the only thing that would really kill me, like getting rid of my bulwark, you know. He can't he can't like kill me and end the game basically. Yep, there's all his pylons. Yeah, he's probably, I was going to say, he's probably been, not only did I gut his production, but he's probably been supply blocked this whole time, too. Look at that. You see that? Yes, you see my BC count, baby? Barcodes can't touch this, man. Barcodes can't touch this. All right, I got that new scanner. That fraud-free, baby. That's right. You're cooked, son. You're cooked. Mmm. A5 Wagyu. That's what I'm talking about. Meat so delicious, so expensive. You'll never taste it your whole life. You'll never, you'll never attain that greatness. Neither will I. That's the whole point. Nobody does. Even rich people don't eat it, because that's how they would lose their money. It's the ultimate forbidden fruit. Eating $50,000 hamburgers. Like you're going to live forever. <sighs> what a world. What a world we live in. Oh, I got plus three attack? I just didn't get armor? Okay. What's going on? What is it? Guys are depleted. You bled the planet dry. Yeah, I don't know what his plan is. I mean, I basically ripped his face off. Then he got a new one. Then I ripped it off again. You guys ever watch The Ring? You guys know in the third Ring movie where that one guy who was so terrified of her that he, he blinded himself just so he could never see her and see the video? I tell you what. In his final moments, she actually, this this monster, she gives him back his eyesight. So just so you know, Samara is capable of miracles. She just chooses to selectively only use them when people try to get around the fact that she needs to look into your eyes to kill you. So she gave the man back his eyes. And, and, and then, uh, obviously, she, yeah, obviously at that point, yeah, she did, she did then kill him. But, I mean, let's face it, he was a bad guy. You guys have all seen the movie, I assume.
Fun fact, was played by the same guy that plays Kingpin in Marvel's Daredevil. So, and I like that guy. I like that guy. Turns out he's Samara's, uh, well, spoiler. He's her priest, that's for sure. People are talking about, they're like, oh, my, my favorite horror movie guy is, is scarier than yours. I'm like, she, she has the ability to cure people and just doesn't. Don't, don't mess with Samara, guys. You won't. You won't. I don't know. There's no follow-up. That's where the sentence ends. You won't. All right, we got a Zergy boy. The big actor. Yeah, the guy that plays um, Vincent D'Onofrio. Vincent D'Onofrio is in that movie. It's important. It's important to keep in mind that there are three. There's three Ring movies. Well, three American Ring movies. There's The Ring, which most people are familiar with, which is based on the original The Ring, which was made in Japan a long time ago. I believe there's been a Japanese remake as well at some point in the last 15 years. I digress. They ended up making a Ring 2, not to be confused with the remake of Ring, which they kind of brought it back again. Um, but yeah, yeah. The Ring 2, which continues directly from the plot of the original one, uh, mostly goes into them digitizing the videotape. You know, as you guys imagine, that's how they milk it for a sequel. They digitize it and they're like, wait a second, how is this digitized VHS 35 gigabytes? That's not possible. And the person's like, there was extra data on the tape. And I'm just like, I'm sitting here like, man, my head is going to explode from this tech jargon. You know, this is, this is really rough. It's really, they're like, yeah, there's extra data encoded onto an analog media piece. And I'm like, shit. Wow. Wow. You know, my, my head is literally going to explode scanner style watching it. Anyway. That revealed footage of the church, and then they go there, find Vince D'Onofrio, and he's like, I'm blind because I'm so terrified of Samara. I did it to myself so that I could never see the video or look into her eyes. Obviously, you see how that ends at the end of the movie. But you know what? Vincent D'Onofrio plays a pretty good, a pretty good remorseful bad guy. I mean, he is definitely, like, kind of a bad guy in the movie, but... He's he has he has this pretty good air of remorse around him until he's basically confronted with the end. At which point he goes back to being his you know, he's all just like Yeah. You see the person that he was. So before he became a little bitch. To be fair, a ghost trying to kill you for torturing her is probably I don't know. I don't know. I would not do that personally. I think the best way to avoid being in that situation is to not not torture people, um, first of all. And then much less likely their spirits will haunt you forever. I feel like everybody here, we could all probably agree on that, right? I feel like we could all agree on that. If you don't want to be haunted, don't like torture or murder people or anything like that. Seems like a pretty easy one to avoid. Um, and yeah, Vincent D'Onofrio was great as Kingpin. So he nailed the role in that movie. He was perhaps the best actor in the entire film. Um, but again, very limited role. So they had to go with this clueless, this very, very clueless actress playing uh, whoever the NPC-esque main character is of those films. Or her very NPC-esque child. The Ring movies are actually, the American ones are, I love, give me a good horror movie, give me Samara, give me the, the mystique and all that. But man, the writing and acting is really unbelievably bad. It's not, it's not really much to report about other than the scenes with Samara in them. And there you go. Now you know infinitely more than you ever needed and or slash wanted to about the ring. Got you guys. But yeah, they did reboot it. They did reboot it into being like on a USB drive or something in 2017, 2018. We watched that, and man, it sucked. It wasn't really, it wasn't really good. 
I wasn't crazy about it. So there you go. There you go. If you have any more horror movie related questions, you guys just let me know. And I'll be right there. Be right there. Aren't they bringing back Daredevil with those actors? Yeah. Yeah. They they won. They won. Disney Disney's bringing them all back. They were just there was a there was a bunch of set photos getting leaked. I, I'm not gonna spoil anything. I didn't really look that much into it, but I just saw that I saw that there were leaks because I was curious if John Bernthal was gonna be back. If you guys don't want to know, I won't tell you. Um, but anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're getting just about every. I heard that. I heard that. I don't know. I heard originally they were going to cut some characters and then they ended up going back on that. So it seems it seems like it's going to be a pretty pretty complete cast for the show. So that that is a big reason why I'm excited about it. I thought I thought the Daredevil series on Netflix was incredible. I thought it was very good. Swap away. Uh, he's got a non-zero amount of lings, but it's also, like, not a threatening amount of lings at the same time. Like, if the number of zerglings here were a french fry order, like, I don't know that I would call this even a medium. That looks like a small, could be a kid size small amount of zerglings. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? You guys ever get a you guys ever order the happy meal on delivery just because you want fries but you like know they're really horrible for you and you can't justify it at all? But if you get a kid's meal then they only give you like the very tiniest amount and then you can still have some without hating yourself? Yeah. Yeah, you guys you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Is he is he coming? You pushing me, bro? What's the deal, yo? What's the deal? Oh, there's the spire. There's the spire. It's gonna be a little late. It's gonna be a little late. A little late. Gotcha. Uh, on the run. Baby, I'm just having fun. I'm not afraid of you, stalker man. Spider-Man says we don't have to be afraid of people like you anymore. Now, I know what you're thinking, Nathan, you just got shalaka locked there. And in a manner of speaking, it's kinda true. But there's another truth. Oh yeah, he baited my BCs back too, huh? Yeah, I didn't get them on hold position. Rip. Never mind, never mind. My whole rant was gonna be about how I saved the BCs. <laughs> so it's okay. But it, it might not be okay anymore. I tried to do maybe the greediest version of this build that exists because I went 3cc before I actually committed to the... Yeah, no, no, he's not, he's not letting me have anything else after that. We're only going to get plus one on the BCs because we're obviously in a bit of a bad spot as it pertains to that situation. I killed, I mean, I killed the Spire basically twice, but the biggest problem is that he's, he's in a situation where I'm not, I'm not able to do a whole lot. So my economic growth is going to be very limited from where we've reached and eventually we'll turn negative. So we have to begin our transition into the army that we actually need to close the game out slightly sooner. Than maybe we would have otherwise originally wanted take out as much of his Queens as we can. And most importantly, play ball, right? Play ball. So 
So like right there, you know, we did. We did just get something. We did. We did just get something. Yeah, see the corruptors, they're just they're already waiting, man. They're literally just waiting there for you. They've depleted that mineral. Research has concluded. Workers win gains. Protect them. Yes, sir. What's that? What is it? Add ons finished. Are you ready for this? Oh, really? is under siege. We could use the bell here. Yeah, losing the first BC the way I did, man. There was no there's no coming back from that. GG. GG. <laughs> I I should not have lost those first two BCs. That was a huge mistake. That was a huge mistake. Did I catch any of the Zero Space Tournament? Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. I think uh, Lucifron kind of dunked on Nurcio there in the finals, right? Yeah, it was that was that was brutal. Protectorate looking really strong, huh? I think I think the biggest thing that tournament revealed is the issue with. The economic scaling changes they made and how fast people are able to invest into putting like structures and stuff out on the map the way the way that they did because there was just absolutely nothing there right there was nothing it was so many so many depots just shooting at each other in the middle of the field you know that's that's the kind of stuff that's the kind of stuff that you like you worry that people will see that and that that will be like the the turn off for them for the game you know so hopefully hopefully that's not too much of an issue in the future but the biggest thing for me is it seems like it seems like they mostly polished a lot in between their phases so zero space zero space looked a lot more polished for this phase a lot more things were kind of rounded out and completed but it didn't um I don't know that they got the cues for team games working. I don't think I was able to... I don't think I saw anything like that. And I know they said there would be a playable prologue or something from the campaign available. There was going to be something like that in this build. I don't know if that ended up coming out. But I still, I still really want to check that out. That's what I was hoping to see. I was really hopeful for 2v2 cues, but may, they may not have had enough people on for that. And then what is it? In like two weeks, there's going to be more Stormgate. So I think Zero Space will probably continue to let people stream whatever they want. But Stormgate, Stormgate will probably not let us stream immediately. <laughs> it's so tough trying to get feedback from people when there's like so many... Um, you know trolls on the internet basically and they're like we want to get data but also man people are really horrible <laughs> everybody wants to see stuff okay well let's make them happy and show them things and then people are like this doesn't look done and they're like i thought you all understood it wasn't done you know that's that's more or less the story of stormgate <laughs> guys we're trying to build a game from scratch we don't have any money are you are you shitting me that's that's the story of Stormgate. Go, go, go. 
I love those guys, though. They still got a good game. They still got a good game, but they're absolutely, they're absolutely getting, getting just brutally, brutally yelled at by everybody. There's not, there's not a lot of winning moves for those dudes. They got to deal with the brood war boomers who don't want people, don't want there to be like quality of life for mechanics and stuff, but they also got to try and make their game entertaining to new people. And their game, their biggest game mode is going to be 2v2 and 3v3. But the only thing we haven't been able to test at all is team games, you know? I don't think they're going to be, I don't think the game is going to be launching with team games available as a queue. I don't think Team Ladder is ready yet. From what I saw about their early access release goals. So, you know, that's maybe the only thing that makes me a little nervous. I love what these games are doing, though, but... I, I, I thought everybody understood that the money was in co-op and a good casual experience. But 99% of everything you're seeing about these games is still just 1v1. Which, again, I, I thought they realized that they're not going to make any money off of that as their primary thing. So, I get building up from the ground up and all of that jazz. But, like, at some point, you got to find out if you can actually have that many units in the game. Or at least, at least let let people mess with it and see if there's anything broken that you can do that needs to be a, you know looked at or addressed. Kind of how I see it anyway. I feel like there were some issues with the co-op performance. Like that definitely became kind of became uh, a, a talking point later later on in their testing phases. But it didn't seem to be too big of an issue in the 1v1 modes. So you at least have that going for you. Yeah, I can't start my BCs because I'm supply blocked. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm about to be unblocked, though. We're good. We're good. I'm hitting him with the battle cruisers much faster than last game. Much faster than last game. And I'm not just going to blow it because I saw that his response was that big, big push. So. I'm still expecting him to do like Ro Ravager, Roach, follow-up type shenanigans. I'm still completely expecting that. But it didn't look like he wanted to build that many Corruptors. So. Being that the case, we will, we will very kindly um, absolve him of that responsibility. His lair is not done yet, and my BCs are halfway done. If he starts to spire right as I teleport in, Corruptors will be finishing roughly five to seven seconds before my Battlecruisers can teleport out. That's assuming that he starts the spire as I'm speaking. So, the question is, do I feel lucky punk? You know, I always ask my boy Jeeves, and he says, I'm always feeling lucky, so let's go. Let's get her done. Let's get her done. Yeah, look at this. Look at this jabroni. Yep. 
Command center upgrade complete. Yes, sir. Yes. What is it? Yes. Well. That went much better than the first time around. I got my 1-1 one, one done now, so his Corruptors will be at an upgrade disadvantage. I didn't leave my BCs in the corner of the map to die for nothing this time, so for anybody wondering what the change was, that's it. <laughs> I I avoided making a extremely critical mistake that killed me. And uh, shockingly, shockingly, I have recovered somewhat now. Oh yeah, the Jets, uh, the New York Jets released their new uniforms today and their new logo. It looks amazing. They just went for something that was actually just kind of based off their old 80s logo. Which, that's all the fans have asked for, by the way, so. It's not like, it's not, it's not viewed as a cop-out or anything. That is, that is pretty much what the fans have been demanding and begging for for a long time. Not bad, not bad. Everything about this is in very anxiety inducing. <laughs> this is uh this is stressful. This is stressful AF. Oh here we go, right? Yes, 
mined out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? Big job, huh? <laughs> new He's crazy though. He's crazy. <laughs> That's just ludicrous. No, he's absolutely bonkers. He's absolutely bonkers. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to get these BCs out, but it is it is tough. We are we are starving out here in the kingdom, boyos. We're starving, man. No. Yeah, he's trying to just... He just wants to fly his big corruptor ball you made in. That's all. He's like, if I kill enough turrets, I'll be able to just fly these in. And he's not wrong. If he, if he kills enough turrets, he will be able to just fly in. That's very true. That's actually... That is actually one of his better chances at winning this game is doing something like that. Right? Get on top of me. Make it impossible, etc. That's why we got to do this the hard way, because we lost all our battle cruisers when he dove us. We had like six. We had like six, and he dove us something like 20 odd corruptors. Things got a little out of hand. Things got out of hand. Things got out of pocket. Yo, going pure mass BC is not easy, bro. It's not. Forces are under attack. 
I love this. This is like the lot. This is like the sickest holdout mission. Let's see if we can get around the outside. I like that he even he even put the burrowed ling. He even put the burrowed ling on my corner base too. It's dedication. It's dedication is what that is. Obviously, I can't just give up. Let's try and take this one back again, I guess. This can be my last hope. <laughs> we still have a lot of battle cruisers. That's why I haven't left the game, in case you're wondering. I just like to build BCs and mess around with them. That's my main thing. Hopefully, with the turret construction, we'll be able to clear out some of the tumors that are still preventing us from expanding. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I, I love that you can kind of like feel the frustration sort of built up there. It is very hard to kill me in this situation though. I get it. I get it. He's got to feel like at least kind of stuck, right? Uh, he's got us, boys. He's got us. He rushed nothing but carapace, too. Well done. I don't think there was anything we could have done to win that, right? That guy's really good. I'll probably just keep playing against him if I keep queuing. And I think he's maybe the best opponent we've played in a while. So I hope you guys are okay with it. I'm going to try and go for the rematch. I'll play against this guy all day if I can. That would be kind of nice. He's one of the better Zergs. There we go. We got him again. I'm having fun. We'll do a more standard mech build this time, since I'm going to guess he'll go for a faster Spire this game. We know he really likes the Ravagers and the Roaches. We know that he won't go Broodlords. So he only builds he only builds Corruptors as much as he believes that he needs them to deal with the BCs. So we still want to go BC, because we know that he doesn't, he doesn't actually want to do Corruptors. But he will if he's forced to. So we just play three base... Siege tank, battle cruiser, maybe widow mine since he doesn't really like lings too much. We know the end game for him is all roaches. So maybe that's the adjustment that we'll make. I have a couple of pretty good macro BC builds. The BCs themselves won't be the focus for this game though. I thought I might be able to make mass BC work though because I it figured they didn't want to make many corruptors. And then, uh, then he changed his mind about that. Then he changed his mind and made many, many corruptors. What's going? So this could be a good game to find out. What's going on? SCB ready. Yeah, whatever. Huh? It's very rare that I enjoy a rematch against someone, but this is uh, this is rather nice. This guy can spank my ass all day. Just keep letting me build whatever I want.
giving me orders? What's going on? Huh? Your command center's got some new toys. Been waiting on you. You want a piece of me, boy? Huh? By the time you had a TV ready. Gonna try something a little weird though. I'm only gonna do this because I don't think that he'll understand it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna pretend there's a reason though. <laughs> Making him think that I'm suddenly trying to be really greedy because I expect him to rush a spire. Like that might be might be a useful tactic to employ. And if he doesn't do anything reckless, if he doesn't get triggered by it, then that should that should open us up to be able to go into uh, our third base pretty quickly, which would be really nice. Regardless of whatever build we do, I think it's safe to say there's a very high chance, there's a very high chance of... Uh, our opponent transitioning pretty pretty quickly into Roach Roach Ravager, right? That's how he ended the first two games against us. He beat us twice with big Roach Ravager attacks. Oh yeah, see, there you go. Oh, well, he just did a regular all-in. That's fine. GG. Let's go next. <laughs> I'm keeping him honest. I'm keeping him honest. All right, we got the same guy again. When we started, we were about the same MMR. Now we're about 100 below him. So I think at least, at the very least, if we beat him now, we'll get a lot. But if he beats us again, we're not going to lose that much anymore. I don't think we're going to lose that much anymore. So we'll just keep trying. This map is a lot easier to take a third base on than uh, the last one, too. So if he decides to cheese us again, I think we'll be fine. Yo, Spadocles. What's up, bro? How you doing? Did you have a nice weekend? You get up to anything? Or did you do nothing? He did nothing the whole weekend. He did absolutely nothing. Which is also technically doing something. So, he did do something. Go ahead. 
He spent the whole entire weekend making pancakes. And every time he would make 24 pancakes, he'd stack them together and put them in the freezer. He's got 10 stacks of pancakes. He's got 240 pancakes in his freezer. Why? You never know. You never know. You never know when you're going to be in a rush one morning. You're just going to hop out of bed and just slam those pancakes in the toaster, right? Just put two frozen pancakes into each toaster slot. Boom. Insta pancakes. You know what I mean? This guy's a genius. That's a good way to do it. Play D and D. Oh, he made pancakes for the kids. Oh, that's awesome. Sounds like a good time, dude. Happy to hear it. Command Center 2.0, ready to go. Go ahead. Bad news. Bad news. Breaking me down. Might as well, right? Just killed Overlord. I need a dub. I need something. Lord, forgive me. They all think they can just swing back one more time. It's all good, bro. This better be good. Go, go, go. Order. 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 What's going on? Center 2.0, ready to go. Your SCV Your face is under siege. in the worst way. SCV ready. Your add-on is complete. SCV ready. Add-on SCV ready. Yo. This is where we wait for him to do the Ravager bust, I guess, right? Keepo. He got pretty upset the last time we went 3cc. We'll see what he does. We'll see what he does this game. My boy's about to get bricked up on Roach Ravager. It seems like his lair timing is about the same every game, right? He's probably not going to make a move until he thinks I'm taking the third base. Be my guess.
What's going on? Big job. By the you ready for war? Search is ready. Add-on is complete. Upgrade complete. Upgrade ready. Noise. You've done add-ons finished. He completely switched it up this time, right? He doesn't. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. You didn't build great bases just for to get blown up, did you? Is this his game plan? Is that he's gonna go? He's just he's just going for all my turrets. guy doing I'm guessing he's doing this because he thinks I'm about to take this base that's the only reason I can really think of why No, he's made multiple, like, game-ending attempts at pushes.
Oh, everything about this game is just an absolute mess. That's just the truth. That's just the reality of this horrible cursed situation I have somehow found myself in. But you know, we haven't beaten this guy yet, so... Even taking one map here would be pretty sick. That would be nice. It would be a huge... It would be a huge departure from the way things have been, right? Well, there it is. There he is. He's going for the abductee boys. He's going for the abductee boys here. Damn. out some of your minerals let's see how do we get another base here you guys think this is gonna be tough this guy's tried to finish us off about four times now it's been tricky right he seems to kind of just do whatever he needs to it's been really hard he's played a lot of different builds and uh strategies against us so that's just been tough, man. But yeah, you see, you kind of see the recurring theme, right? It's all about the, it's all about the Ravagers. It's tough. It's tough to break like that with the map control that he gets. GG. Let's go next. Yeah, he's re he's really good. Whoever he is, he's much better than me. I respect him because he doesn't cheese me every game, so I don't mind. No sore losers here. All right, we got the same guy again. We just get to play TVZ all day, baby. I'm happy. We'll beat him eventually. Right. 
Roger. Go in. Maybe I could make it hard eat again. What? Ah, you scared me. SCV ready. Oh, 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 Yeah, the third on this map kind of feels impossible, right? Especially against a guy like this who doesn't make any mistakes. So I think we just tune our strategy and we do like the two base all in version of it. You know, like we're just going to hard commit. We're just going to commit like crazy, crazy hard on this, I think is the only way. We're just going to do the thing that allows us to defend this, uh, to do this strategy without him being able to just block it with queens. That's the hope anyway. We'll find out how good this guy's game sense is, but he's literally played perfectly. The thr la I think we played him, what, three or four games in a row now? I don't think I've seen him make a single mistake, so. I don't expect him to start now. Your base is getting blasted. I don't expect him to start now. Can't really do it faster than this. Well, this is it. I'm on it. Your add on is complete. You gonna get add on done. Swap away. Now, this is the most hardcore version of the build that I can really do.
No guarantees, of course. No guarantees, no promises. Just gonna have to open up the 11th chakra or whatever, right? He doesn't rush the Spire, though. In none of the games, none of the games has he actually, like, rushed it, so... It's perhaps the only thing that gives me the smallest amount of pause, like, that I need to consider. Let's do it. Mind you, my BCs already have plus one attack, so that's all you really need to know. Yeah, he, he's, he wasn't ready for them to have plus one. Yep, plus one on the BCs. We'll get you high tonight. There we go. You see, that was the that was the new thing that I could do on this patch. So instead of instead of going like you build the two BCs and then you take your third and do all of that, you get the armory. You guys notice the difference because of the armory cost change. Normally you couldn't afford this, but you see, I get the armory. Well, having a built-in natural makes getting the gas easier. So maybe I would have been able to afford it on the old patch. <laughs> Excuse me, if it was on this map. Getting hiccups over here from not breathing. <clears throat> it's because I want to tell you something really cool. I start the starport and the armory at the same time. 
And you notice, plus one attack is ready, and the BCs, I still get them as fast as I can. Like, I'm obviously not playing very well, but... This version of the build is much, much harder to stop. It's a huge DPS increase. It's a huge DPS increase, because all this guy does is make queens. He builds his lair really late. He's got like, yeah, he's got nine queens. So he basically follows like the Cats and Scarlet school of, you can defend a double BC rush with a ton of queens, and you don't have to rush, right? You don't have to rush as fast into the spire. But that's the difference maker. I arrive in his base and I already have plus one. So instead of eight damage per hit with his carapace, I'm only doing, you know, not eight and doing seven. So the plus one means I'm really just doing true damage now. So he's in a situation where the queens are taking a lot more damage than he was initially prepared for. And because of that, it was a lot easier to kill them. And he stood there and fought me and lost specifically because he believed in that moment the queens could win because they won uh, the last three games in a row that we played. This is game number four, I think. Nobody beats Nathanius four times in a row. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to soak in this one. Yeah, you better believe it. You better believe it. Oh, yeah. But you see, by the time he finally gets a Corruptor out, by the time he finally gets a Corruptor out, I've already got plus two attack. I've already got plus two attack by the time he gets a Corruptor. And look at what he did with the double Evo. Melee attack and ranged attack. So again, his strategy is kind of turtle with queens to defend, take a lot of bases. Because again, he was up to four bases by six minutes when this hit. So, he was just being profoundly greedy. And it's worked. It's worked for him. It has worked. That's That's been the story of the day. Did I get some of my points back? Yeah, you guys, I told you guys I've been losing about 10 points a game against him. I got I got 30 back for beating him finally, so thank gosh. Thanks, thank golly G. Willikers. Golly G. Willikers, Batman. Thank you. No, it doesn't doesn't look like he's gonna get a doesn't look like we'll get a rematch there. He did he did get another opponent. I was wondering if we would see a fifth game in a row against him. Creed is good till it's not. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's time to kick things off. Got a TVT. Got a Grandmaster Terran here. What's going on? How you guys like that, huh? I persevered. That guy beat up on me real bad, didn't he? And then I found a way to clap back. I'm not saying that I'm better than him. And I'm not saying that he's a bad person or a bad player. But I will say, after playing a couple games against him, I am definitely a better player than I was before I played him, just to be clear. He made me a better player, that's what I mean to say. He made me a better player. He whooped my ass three times in a row, and then I absolutely tagged him back. That was fun. He wasn't rude about it, he wasn't BM, 
I said GG every game. He said GLHF. And that's like, that's like perfect, right? Isn't that picture perfect, StarCraft? You get good games, multiple good games against an opponent who's really good that pushes you to the limit. And you can have a respectful discourse and just play the game and enjoy. Like that, that right there is, ah, oh, that's choice, bro. Some good food. I wish I could lose to everybody three times in a row and them not be really mean about it. It was nice. Got a lot of TVZ in so far today, that's for sure. Man, they're so they, yeah. They announced the new Jets logos and stuff, and the uniforms, and it looks so good, man. I've never hated, I've never, I've never felt more broke in my life. They finally, they finally redesigned everything to be good. It's all in jest, all in jest, of course. There's just too many good things. There's too many good things. I need to get like five jerseys, five t-shirts, five cheese, 55 cheeseburgers, 55 Aaron Rodgers jerseys, 55 Sauce Gardner jerseys. 55 CJ Mosley jerseys. I want 55 of those snapback hats in size eight. Oh, the Jets win the offseason every year. There's no re again, this is another one of those off seasons where there's there's no real reason why we shouldn't be one of the most competitive teams in the league this season. I think you'll find that if Pat Mahomes tears his Achilles though on the first or second drive, that you know the Chiefs are gonna struggle too. So my hope is that that doesn't happen this year, right? Like if he doesn't if he doesn't get hurt like that. And we did strongly, heavily improve our offensive line a lot. Then hopefully, hopefully we should be able to see that talent on that team unlocked. Especially, you know, we picked up Tyron Smith. We got one of the best tackles on the free agency market. We got Mike Williams. He's very good. The Jets have had several players come back from ACL tears really healthy. So their program seems to be pretty good. They had Brees Hall and on one of the one of the best recovery programs, and honestly, it's still kind of a tragedy that he was didn't get more votes for a comeback player of the year. But like stuff like that, man, is super, super, super exciting. If everybody stays, if if the if the if the key players stay healthy long enough, it's hard not to be excited. It is it is without a doubt it is without a doubt the most interesting things have been in a in a while. You can't deny that. Ready. Ready for engine scanning 
Find out some of your mission. Ready to blunder. Upgrade ready. Noise. Upgrade complete. Find out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of offensive linemen in this year's draft. I still hope the Jets pick up more O-line. Truthfully, I don't I don't want us to all of us all of a sudden, you know, start taking low value positions or whatever. I don't know if I know I mean, wide receiver is not a low value position, but you know what I mean, like I'd be okay. I'd be okay. Romeo Duns looks really good. Right, Brock Bowers looks good. Like maybe if there's absolute top prospect talent available then yeah yeah we'll see we'll see that but yo mike sixers thanks for the sub buddy appreciate it dog Upgrade 
Stay ready. Noise. Oh, he's like taking ninja bases and shit on me. I love it. The ninja base is just my favorite, though. That's my favorite part. I'm about to have so many plus three battle cruisers that he is just not ready for. Oh my god, I forgot he. I never resaturated that base. That's kind of crazy, too, to think about, you know? Oh, he went double starport banshee and he's making his medevacs with those same starports. That's what's happening. That's literally what's happening in this game right now. You've mined out some of your minerals. Yes, sir. Yeah. Too late, though. And that's how that's how I used to do it. That's how you do it. The thing is, remember, most of the maps, the bases, especially from last season, the bases are all on the outside of the map. So they're all they're all on the edge. So it's pretty easy to scout them. He had so many Marines, but I had three three battle cruisers. I think at some point. The biggest mistake he made was not just YOLOing into me. He had a lot of money. He was maxed out. Again, he had a ton of money. He had all the bases. He's he stretched across the map. He's got backup production. He's got backup everything. And then he sees that he's up against battle cruisers that are better upgraded than his Marines. I didn't have Yamato. He contained me to three bases. And at the end, he was going for one, two, three... Four, five, six. He was going for seven versus three bases. Mind you, the main main was... Uh, you, you could say I did gut it at the end, but... That was nuts. That was a crazy game. Oh! Yeah, we're getting this Monday started right, though. Hey, hey. What did you guys watch me do for the whole first half of the stream so far today? Lose. What have I, what have I just done? I just got plus 40, baby. Just got a fat plus 40 off that one. That guy was 5.31k. I just took 40 from this, bro. Feel like I just committed. Feel like I just got away with robbery. They're gonna lock me up. They're gonna lock me up and throw me in chicken tender prison forever. It's okay. It's not the worst place to be.
the quest for glory begins. Your school had attendees today. They were actually delicious. What a day. My man. Chicken tender prison sounds like a vacation. I don't know, bro. It's like life in prison in America. You're like, that's it. it bad. That's literally hard to imagine things that bad, right? Then you're like life in prison in Norway. Then you're like, guys, they don't even do that. Not even for the worst people. Everybody gets out of They rehabilitate everybody. And I'm like, what? <laughs> We got a TVZ barcode zerg, barcode zerg. I can't believe I lost. I lost like 80 MMR in five games, and then I won 80 MMR in two games. The roller coaster. The roller coaster. <laughs> Nathan can't beat anybody worse than him, but put him in an underdog situation. It's true. It's true. If I am the underdog, all my stats go up by like seven times. It's a huge difference. As soon as I'm the favorite, or even even, it's like, that's it. It's over. My whole superpower is I can only play from behind. They probably have chicken tenders in Norwegian prison. I'd, I'd guess. We're going crazy. We're going loco. You said exercise. I thought you said more fries. Not gonna complain about that either. You know I love. You know I love my fries. You know I love my fries. I also like going to Fries Electronics. Oh, got him. 
They don't really exist anymore, but they were cool. They were cool for a while. Here comes the nine pound hammer. Bad news. What's going on? SCV ready. Let's get into the fight. SCV ready. In back. Made for battle. Here we go! <laughs> Upgrade ready. Things are about to get a little crazy. Oh yeah, see, he went spire. He spire rush. He spire rush, guys. It's okay. Never mind. Take it back. Take it back. No fun allowed. No fun allowed, police. It's the no. It's the no fun police. I guess we just go for the gold. Yeah, he rushed corruptors too. Do you think he do you think he clicked on the mini map or what do you guys what do you guys think? The only thing I got going for me is the upgrades still, so let's not Let's just try not to pretend like that stops mattering at some point. He's committing pretty hard to this, huh? A little bit more than I thought he would. That's a lot of corruptors. He was building them before he even scouted anything. That's that's what's tough, right? He's a barcode, so I just I don't I don't know I don't know if I've ever played him before, right? So that's 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 why people barcode. He had a pretty nice advantage at the start of the game. It's highly likely that he knew who I was, even though I didn't know who he was. So he just leveraged that to get an advantage in this game for free. That's why people don't like barcodes. It's probably not probably not going to be able to win this since he's sent, he's clicked on my units on the mini map every time I've left my base. So Not much, not much we can do. We'll just try and Gigamax, I guess. If we can, anyway. But we're probably cooked. Getting blind countered like this is, is always gonna put us in a really bad spot. Go ahead. I'm going. Add on 
done. Swap away. Who calls in the fleet? Yes, Commander. Well? Patching you through. What's going on? Your base is getting blasted. I'm Ready to go. Your command center's got some new toys. Bad news? Yes. Ben? Well? What is it? Command center upgrade complete. You mind out some of your minerals. Oh, he's got brood lords. I see. I see. I get it now. He doesn't actually have that many corruptors because he made brood lords. That's what's happening. What's going on? <laughs> That's actually what's happening. I might have been able to fight him and win right there. I mean, I don't really have an option anymore, right? You've mined out some of your minerals. I mean, he did lose a lot of money doing that, too, so... Oh, yeah, it's hard to stop there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. 
Look at him trying to come catch me, too. Yes, he knows exactly where they are. He knows exactly where they are. Mr. Barcode. Mr. Barcode. Give me your drones, baby, baby. What are you gonna do, handsome? That's a lot of mules. You sure you want to let that one get away? <laughs> Mr. Barcode, though. Mr. Barcode. He's going crazy. He's bringing it. Oh, he just... Well, there you go. I guess I shouldn't click. I shouldn't click too far in advance, right? Since he can somehow see everything I'm doing, right? But what will your corruptors do about those long distance mining SCVs? What will they do? Oh, he's crazy, man. He's crazy. That's what I've been saying, though. He's only going to have his units where they need to be to, for what he wants. It's the vibe I'm catching. Still, make, still getting a lot of money, so. Yes, 
Yes, Commander. You hail? Your CVs didn't sign up to fight. Got some new toys. Who called him the Will? Yes. Will? Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. You've exhausted that best being guys. Yep. Touching you. Oh, really? What is... Yes, come on. Oh, really? You've mined out some of your minerals. This game is just ridiculous. Oh, really? Patching, what is it? I think these guys have their TP available, right? Oh, this is a whole squad on its own. Righteous. Righteous, dude. Righteous, righteous, dude. But could you, like, imagine if I, like, found a way, you know? Like, what? Your 
SUVs didn't sign up to fight. Mind out a mineral field. He's going to completely gas me out on this, huh? So that's where this is going. <laughs> There's no more Vespine on the map. There's no more Vespine gas. It's going to take me everything. It's going to take me everything to get these bases up now. <laughs> He's made it so freaking hard. Yeah, my Hellbats aren't like that bad, you know? They're not, they're actually like kind of strong ish. What? How did he? This guy, man. This guy. Clicking on my battle cruisers through fog of war. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? This guy, this guy, this is like when you play with full map vision, but you have no like actual talent. Yeah, maybe, maybe he had burrowed lings everywhere. Survey says, nope. He's wild. He is absolutely wild though. What a game. What a game. Barcodes. Am I right? Whoo. 
barcodes. 30 minutes. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, good F and G. Dude, after that, look, I just played a 30 minute Terran versus Zerg against a barcode, okay? How are you so good? I drink a lot of water and I take breaks between crazy games. Speaking of, we've been live for three hours. Guys, I just kind of like locked in and here we are three hours later. Time flies, but I have to use the restroom and make myself a snack so I don't get hangry and play worse so that, you know, I don't, I don't want to give you guys bad games. So I'm going to be right back. Give me like three to five minutes. Um, it's halftime on the stream. And uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. We'll keep kicking ass. How does that sound? That was a great match. I want to keep that. I want to keep that energy going for y'all. So I'll see you in a, see you in a minute. Okay.
All right, we're back. I told you it wouldn't be too long. I told you it wouldn't be too long. I got you. <laughs> I got you guys. It's all good. Everything's okay. Who? Keanu Reeves is playing Shadow the Hedgehog? What the f***? Show off the SpongeBob drip. Yeah, man. That's what I was saying. <laughs> my dad, my dad got me this randomly, just mailed it to me. It's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. See, that was what I liked about the headset. It was easier to show off my shirts, okay? That was what I liked about the headset. But the microphone, it's gotta be as close to my mouth as possible, you know? Otherwise, otherwise the quality goes down. I know you guys like the quality of this microphone. It's a delicate dance for me as a streamer. I wanna show off how hot I am, but I also wanna show, I also want you guys to, I know, I know that my voice is something that many people Many people find pleasing and comforting, so I'd hate to take that away from you. And my dad sent me this SpongeBob hoodie last week. He sent me a SpongeBob hoodie and he sent my wife a bunch of, uh, he sent Katie two Jets hoodies because he asked me if she had stuff of our team. And I was like, I got her a Sam Darnold jersey, which is, you know, man, I wish, I wish there was a morally acceptable way for me to get rid of it, but she already has memories attached to it. So she doesn't want to. So here we are. When I hit the jackpot this year, we're getting the full suite. We're getting the full suite. The green looks great. The white looks great. The black looks okay, but I think the thing is, when we got our new uniforms last time, and there was, there was a very similar thing where people thought the black design did not look very good, and I think it looked much worse on camera than it looked in real life because when the game actually was played in those jerseys most people thought they looked pretty sick so they they look better on field in real life than they do on camera which is weird could be a contrast of camera lens things since blacks or darks in general are some of the hardest things to correctly reproduce on a display right most people's screens aren't high dynamic range that being said they still looked better on the field on TV than they did in the photos. So I'm, I, that's all I'm really, I don't know why I'm still rambling about this. I'm just trying to tell you, they'll probably look better on the field. So I'm not worried about it. Unless you're saying I should be. No, of course not. Obvi obviously not. The games today have been pretty good, though. I mean, we're, we got another Zerg right here. And I know it sounds like I'm talking a lot, but I'm I'm compensating. I'm compensating because I know if this one turns into the last game and we rip it past the, <laughs> if we rip it past the 15 minute mark, I have a feeling we might hit to 30 again on this map. 
So I'm tr <laughs> just trying to. I'm trying to be like, chat, I love you guys. I don't know if I'm about to disappear. Oh, I don't know if I'm about to go down the black hole again. <laughs> Sometimes I go back and I watch the VODs and it's just like me very quietly just playing at 200 APM. Just super casually. Just not talking for like 10 minutes straight at the end of a 30 minute game. And I'm like, I can't believe people, I can't believe people will watch this. I feel like it's, I feel like it's the, some of the worst parts of my, of my stuff. But at the same time, I also feel like, I also feel like that's StarCraft, right? So, you know, I lock in, I lock in. And then it's over. Now, once the battle cruisers are out, that's that's probably when I'm gonna lock in. Go ahead. It's just one of those things I never really thought about that much, you know. And, I'm, and all of a sudden, I'm just like, damn! I'll just go super silent, just playing my nuts off trying to kill this guy, and everybody's just everybody people just watch. Is it like watching two people fight in an alleyway? Is that what it's like watching somebody stream in that mode? You're just like, yeah, Nathan's Nathan's completely in the zone right now. He's gonna rip this guy's face off like that orangutan or whatever. That's probably. I imagine that's what the crowd would say if this was at like a real arena, you know? Like if there were actually a hundred people watching me fist fight this guy to death, that's probably what you guys would be saying, right? Something along those lines. Just trying to keep it fresh. How long did that game end up being? 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Again, I'm not planning on locking in until the BCs are out, but yeah, yeah that's that's when things are gonna get, things are gonna get crazy. We're, very, we're almost there. See you guys in 20 minutes if that's, if that's when I end up seeing you again. I'm about to anamorph into a gazelle and run all over this bitch. His lair's not even done. My battle cruisers have plus one attack, by the way. That's why I said this build is so dirty. You know, I'm wearing Patrick Starr's face on my chest and my back, so I think I'm allowed to say that. Little dirty Dan, dirty Dan action going on over here. Oh shit! Oh! Oh yeah, no, no, I mean, it doesn't really get much worse than this. Guys, watch this, I call this the Great Migration. We gotta get everybody out of here. We gotta get everybody out of here! <laughs> pick him up, pick him up, pick him up! <laughs> now get the next, get the next. Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up, get him across. Okay, everybody, everybody, everybody. <laughs> Pick, pick him up, get him across, get him across, get him across. Oh, did you think that you knew what I was doing here? No, 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 I got it. I can't give you everything. 
I can't give you everything. I can give you a lot. I can give you damn near everything, but I can't give you everything, you know. Like not everything. Yes, come on. Well, you're either able to get mutas out here or you're not. But that's that's about it. That's where the buck stops. No, 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 don't funk with my heart. Oh, really? This is what it boils down to? How many do you think you got? My BCs are plus two. Got him. What is it? Good repair. Hi, yi, yi. I can't believe he waited that long to get the spire. I guess it just cost that much to base trade me, right? He made a lot of banes. He had a lot of banelings. What a ridiculous game. I mean, that's... <laughs> I didn't end up having to warg into myself for 20 more minutes, but... Just gonna say, I'm just gonna drop a holy sh for that one. That was that was definitely a little bit, little bit wild, a little bit crazy. Woo! GG. I gotta highlight that one. I gotta, I gotta timestamp. I gotta timestamp this game because this this one I need to highlight on YouTube. Bane bust battle cruiser base trade. There's a lot of bees in there. Oh, he was 4,900 as well. There you go. We're actually higher up than where we started today now. Nice guys, nice. We're killing it. We're killing it. I'm transmogrifying myself into an actual chicken tender, capable of speech, if you could believe it. All right, we're searching for a game. I'll let you know when we get one. Thanks for hanging out today, everybody. It's been a nice, it's been a nice chill stream. I was just playing, just playing Fallout 76 all weekend with Katie. We were watching, we were watching all the Amazon show and we just, we kind of got, I don't know, we got our Fallout passion reignited, if you can imagine. So that was, that was pretty cool. That was more or less, more or less the highlight of the... Yeah, we got to see Katie's dad on Saturday. That was nice. We went out and got lunch together. Had uh, got myself a little Moscow Mule action, you know, all that good stuff. Win or lose, a real joy watching you this fun Monday. Thank you. Hey, I'm just saying, look, think about all the things I used to say. Think about all the salty things I used to say when I would lose games, even a couple months ago. You know, I got I got absolutely got crushed by that one Zerg three times in a row. I did end up beating him in the fourth game, 
But I got crushed three games in a row. I didn't talk any shit at all. I am feeling good. I, I am dominating. I am winning the day so hard. I am winning the day so hard, you have no idea. I appreciate you being here for it. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Yeah, we were watching Fallout. It's on uh, It's on Amazon Prime, though, not Netflix. It's on Amazon. But it's very good. It's very good. I played uh, I played a lot of Fallout. I played a lot of Fallout growing up with my brothers and stuff. So that's always been that's always been a pretty cool franchise that we were into. And then uh, yeah, they made a TV show. They made a they made a TV show. They released the whole entire thing on like Thursday night. Thank you for the sub, Fenra. I appreciate you. Great games, great music, great audience. Thanks for helping to make it possible, bro. We're still queued for a game, so we'll get there, you know? Oh, we got the proxy void ray guy again. This is the this is the guy that cheesed us at the start of the stream. He just uh, proxy proxy void ray proxy zealot. I'm guessing we'll see. I'm guessing we're gonna see a little more proxy, a little more proxy action probably. Right? It does does fit fit the bill. But yeah, it's really good. It's really, really, really good. The the number one compliment that I can give to the show is that it it appears to it appears that every single person involved took respecting the game and respecting the source material like as seriously as possible, more or less. So which is nice. Yeah, this guy never gives me straight up games though, so I'm just I'm just gonna go look for the proxy. We'll try and bunker it early if we can. But I'm I'm fully fully 100% expecting the the proxy void rays. Well, I I don't think it's I I I feel like if you try to seriously assess like why stuff sucks so much a big there are a lot of reasons but a big reason is that people who have the privilege of being allowed to make things end up in these situations where they get told to make something right that's derivative like a show or a movie about a video game that they don't care about and they basically get told hey your job is to make movies these guys want to spend a bajillion dollars making this movie, you're going to do it. And then these guys get all jaded, and it's the same problem with, like, what's hurting the gaming industry and AAA gaming, you know? You have game developers who are pitted by their executive teams against the players, and then you have all these developers that are jaded against their own player base, 
Then you have players that are jaded against their own developers because it feeds into like this really vicious self-feeding cycle. You guys know like this, you know, like the toxic culture where people are spend their time talking shit about their customers constantly when they're at work. And it's like, well, yeah, people feel justified in some ways, but on the on the other side of things, like the real the real reason most of these most of these things get messed up is because they don't put people in charge that care, right? The decision makers don't. And it really it really mostly just entirely devolves onto those people. Cause you know, a game developer can only ever say in so many ways that they're doing a good job, because they gotta cover their own ass. Even if even if the studio never lets them make the game that they actually want to make, they're not allowed to say that, you know? They don't say that until they retire or leave the industry. But they'll be, you know, you, you, you see it in um, even Blizzard during, like, their worst times, you know? All their employees, all their employees are, like, they're all, like, Stockholm Syndrome to the point where they're like, yeah, guys, please don't boycott any of our games even though you have a good reason to. They're like, don't do it, because it's just gonna, we're gonna get hurt more if we protect ourselves, you know? Literally, like, trauma reaction. Stuff like that's wild. Per Fallout, I heard they're calling it ultra violent. Yeah, I mean, if you know anything about Fallout, the games the games are pretty violent. It's about a post-war apocalypse where there's no government, no law, and stuff like that. So, you know, that's it's definitely it's definitely a mature rated show for sure. Yeah, I wouldn't watch it with the kids. You'll end up you'll end up being in one of those articles they write every time a Daredevil movie or a, what is it or a Deadpool movie comes out. Every time the new Deadpool movie comes out, and all the parents are like, "Well, it's about it's cartoons. I took it's a comic movie. I took my kids to see a comic movie. I didn't want to see Ryan Reynolds get pegged." <laughs> it's like, well, now your kid you're, you know, looks like your kid knows a whole lot more than you were ready for them to know, huh? Learn to read, bruh. I can't believe it. He's not all inning me. He's not one basing me. Life is good. Oh, okay. I see. I see. You're making some chili? No, I'm good. I'm good. Sitting down with the kids tonight to watch the boys. Wish me luck. Godspeed. Now that's... That one. That one starts off. That one starts off at 100 miles an hour. It never slows down. That one's like... Uh, what's it with uh, Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves? Um, speed, right? If it drops below 40 miles an hour, the whole thing goes goes up. What's going on? Yeah. Big job. Ah, you scared me. Add-ons finished. Add-on done. Swap away. Nothing will stop. That's not chicken. That's chicken. Want some? Some bad guys. 
quality reference is what we call that. Call that a quality reference. Oh, he's not going to let us take this base. Absolutely not. I tried, boys. I don't think we're going to make it to Battle Cruisers this game. GG. Arena is supposed to be coming back. Yeah, yeah, they announced that this morning. The developers said that they had a huge drop off in the number of people playing it after about the first month or two. And they said that that's the reason why they didn't want to keep it as a permanent mode because they find that they, they said themselves that they think the mode is simply not good enough. They're like, people are excited about it. People play it, people try it, and then they stop playing it. So they've basically said that the th what they want to do is get the mode to a place where people switch to it as like their full-time mode enough that it doesn't drop off uh, too significantly after like the first month or two. And if they can get it to that point, then they said that they'll probably keep the mode in permanently, but they, they need they need to get it to the point where people want to play it a lot. Otherwise, they said it's kind of counterproductive to leave it up if it while it's hemorrhaging players. So makes sense from a design philosophy standpoint. It doesn't bother me. I'm mostly just happy that they gave us an update at all. Because that's my favorite mode to play and it's not in the game, right? So that kind of sucks. Not being able to play your favorite mode in a game that you like is uh, totally not cash money, bro. You know? It's like the opposite of cash money. Arena? Arena is like uh, 2v2, v2, v2. It's a League of Legends game mode. The new version of it is going to be 16 players. So it's going to be eight teams of two. It's eight teams of two and you like round robin against each other in a, in a limited space. And every, every other round you either level up or you gain uh, enough gold to buy one item, basically. So... Everybody starts with all three. It's like everybody starts at level three. Everybody starts with all three abilities, and then you get... They have some pretty fun augments, though. They're all, like, totally RNG. It's not meant to be, like, balanced. It's just, like, a fun mode. But it basically turns the game into a much shorter PvP roguelike. So you just play 2v2s. It's uh, Katie, Katie and I played that for hours every night when they when they have it up, usually. Both, both times that we've been able to play arenas, that has been, I think, our exclusive mode. I don't, I don't really play anything else when arenas is available. I think it's, I think it's much better than all the other stuff they've come up with. But they think that they can get a lot of new people to play the game if they improve it to a certain point. So here we are, because it's, it, it'll be the shortest mode in the game, basically. And you don't have to do any farming or minions. There's no minions in the mode at all, right? So changes everything a lot.
is complete. Bad got it. Cyclone. SCV ready. You got coordinates or what? It's ought to be got some. Add on finish. Kill. Yeah. What's it worth? SCV ready. No, it's the best thing. It's the best thing they've cooked up in a long time. A ARAM a Ram is suffering from the same problem that like even StarCraft almost does, where there's such an ingrained player base of older players that are so averse to any changes at all, no matter like how little or small, big, experimental-wise, that they kind of realize, like, oh, we can't, we can't, they can't reinvent ARAM because there's too many players whose identities basically revolve around the game exactly as it is. Like, there's too much ingrained meta or mastery, what, what have you, whatever it is. They don't think they don't think it's something that they can do, so they make a whole new mode instead, which does make sense. You got a Mexican pizza from Taco Bell for the first time, and you don't see the hype. Well, not recent hype, but enough to bring it back. Yeah, I, 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 that doesn't really sound that interesting to me personally. I would I would say more so that I like the idea of the. Yeah, I, I like Taco Bell's regular soft chicken tacos. I'm going to be honest with you. There's not much else to say. That's how I feel. That's it. That's that's just it. Whoa, he's got cannons already? Hmm. All right, then. Man, this guy spent more on static defense than even Nathanius. That's saying a lot. It's because he knows you're building battle cruisers, Nathaniel. A likely story. I mean, his oracle died over the fusion core. That's true. The oracle did die on top of the fusion core. Wee! Yeah, he's already got a fleet beacon, bro. Well, what do you guys think? He's probably going to go all into Tempests or Void Rays, right? To deal with the BCs. We'll see what he's got. I mean, it's just cannons. That's what we're seeing anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's Tempest. Well. 
Find out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? It's gonna be tough. Your forces are under attack. I mean, he basically rushed the hardest possible counter to my build that he theoretically could have done. So there really, there really isn't much. There really isn't much to take away. I'll try to, I'll try to find a way to win this game with control. But he kind of just rushed to everything he needed, and he's turtling. So I don't even know. I don't even know what else to say. You know, it's kind of chilling. We're just kind of chilling now. Oh, now he's going carriers. is complete Big job. what is it your research what a bizarre game yes indeed me in the rear ah, you scared me that's tv ready huh go ahead your forces are under attack oh really Is he just clicking straight on my BC over there? Is that is that what that is? I don't know. Maybe maybe with the, the change to the Raven, it might be possible to interference Matrix him. I really don't know. Always got that mama. It's that beat that make you go mama. Get on the floor and move your booty mama. Good thing you've got more of those, right? You've mined out some of your minerals. Ready, ready to blunder. Stay your big wet. Damn, of course he came right to that base. That's tough, man. He went there as soon as I took it. He didn't have any vision or anything on it either. That's just really bad luck, right? Like, I think I denied him from scouting it. That's just crazy, though.
Damn. Go ahead. Oh, battlefield condition. What is it? All right, we'll try to repair this. We'll do one more move out. Given how easily this guy just like scouted and countered everything I did, even though he didn't make observers until 15 minutes into the game, I'm just going to give myself a kindness and say, "Fuck this, man." I'll try to win this. I'll see what I can do, but what a weird fucking game. Is he going for my other expand that he also still does not know about, or what's his what's his deal here? What do you guys think? Yeah, he just wants he wants to go get that base he doesn't know about. Yeah, it's about what I thought. Notice how he stops attacking the rocks, too, because he realizes I'm here. What can you do, though, right? What can you do? I'm not giving up. Hell no. Yes, Against the turtle man? What's going on? Well, it's a trap. Ready. Okay, he's got more Tempest. All right, there you go. GG. That guy was extremely suspicious. Thankfully, that was not a ranked game. That's why I'm not upset, but wow. That was incredibly sus. Yeah, he doesn't he does not lose very much. That was his first game in three days. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good on that. I'm gonna queue unranked again in case he snipes me or something, but I'm not gonna play I'm not gonna play ranked until I uh get away from him. That was uh that was a very weird game. All right, we got a different guy. Thank God. It's time to kick things off. Bad news. Hey, go ahead. Huh? SCV ready. Yeah, whatever. Well, butter bob. What's going? I have not been able to execute my TVP strategy a single time today. It's kind of crazy, right? We haven't gotten Banshees. We have not gotten Banshees versus Protoss a single time today. I got Proxy Void Raid. I got Blink All End. And then... 
that last guy, right? He just he just turtled on like two bases into carriers, took a third, and that was that was it. And I'm like, I don't really think, you know, I don't I don't really. It's it's not even like there's nothing personal here, but like how could I ever beat somebody battle cruiser rushing? You know, when they rush the counter to battle cruisers, you know what I mean? Like obviously I could maybe win doing a different build, but I'm not here to do other builds, so. Sometimes you just get put in situations that just kind of suck. I'm against another Protoss player this game, so I, I bring all of this up because of what I'm trying to say is I would love to get into a nice, good, scrappy macro game, you know, where we're on like three, four bases, hitting them with banshees, we got mines all over and stuff like that. But I just, I have not been able to get a single Protoss player that wants to play a, a long game. Not one. It's mostly... It's so almost entirely just been just this uh, really, again, either this super blind countery stuff or just one base. I'll take it. Yeah, usually when people do this, that means that they're cheesing, so something to stay mindful of. Or he went Nexus first? Oh no, he just got his twilight. We're fine. to CC. I should not have gotten that many kills with the Reapers. I wasn't really macroing behind it, but we saw Twilight. We got a good scout. We got a good read. I suppose probably should have just started Cloak immediately, Nate. You don't need supply for that. True, true. True Shay. I mean that many adepts though that many would would somebody would somebody doing blink really open with that many adepts I'm not sure give me proxy DT vibes TBH command center 2.0 ready to go Research is ready. Let's 
SCVs are being liberated in the worst way. What's up? Receiving. Your face is getting blasted. I got my ears on. Done. Swap away. SCV ready. Go ahead. Huh? Got you. SCV ready. Your research has concluded. I'm like, I need at least one Raven, probably, right? I don't have any mobile defense in my base at all. I have, yep, there, right there. You see that? You see that? Again, I don't have any mobile defense in my base at all, so... Wait for these turrets, and then we should be, we should be good to go. It is just Mass Zealot, though, so I feel like I called it. I feel like I called it, at least. Yeah, that's tough, man. Most Protoss players, you just get stuff like this, right? It's kind of what I was saying earlier, is you can't, you can't really force them to play macro games with you if they want to cheese. Like, there's just not really anything you can do in that situation. And he did go Nexus first, by the way. Crazy. Nexus first into 8-gate charge lot blink all-in. Without having any experience against that guy, there's just no way I could have known he was going to do that. Let's go next. I scouted the Twilight. He went Adepts. I thought maybe DTs, maybe Charge. Then he had Blink Stalkers, so I kind of had to make more tanks. Boom, it was 20 Dark Templar, 20 Zealots. Just not a lot. Not a lot I could have done to make that read, unfortunately. All right, we got another Protoss player. Yeah, they just have so many different ways they can kill you. I think that's the primary reason why I'm so bad at the matchup, because I'm paranoid and they have a hundred ways to kill you. So it's not... It's like, on one hand, I try to make strategies that can deal with anything, but it's not really possible in this matchup. The best thing to do is to just go 100% on one particularly aggressive type of thing and just try and keep them in their base, like, from the very start. 
But you can't even expand if you want to do that. Like, you have to go one base and then expand while you're doing it. Which just isn't really the way that I, I want to play this matchup. So, it's tough. It's tough. Center 2.0, ready to go. The Grim Reaper has arrived. I'm going, I'm going. SCV ready. In the rear with the gear. SCV ready. Swap away. Oh, are we getting? Mm, we might have taken the gold. the cursed build this game i i have not had any success versus protoss today at all so my plan this game is to just do something completely different again just gonna go for raven raven cyclone with upgrades he had he doesn't have the gas on the gold base so that just kind of tells me it's gonna be zealots anyway Oh. Oh, that's fine too. That's not a problem. Research complete. Center upgrade complete. Big job, huh? SCV ready. Optics online. Let's go kill Raven online. Ah! You scared me! Stay your game, bad ready. Upgrade ready. Noise. Thank you. 
guys closing in on your army. Swap away. He can still push me, so it's not like I'm out of the woods or anything. I think there's still more than one way he could, he could try to kill me here, so. Need to be need to be somewhat careful. The enemy's taking fire. Man center's got some new toys. Your add-on is complete. You've depleted that mineral field. Some of your men research is ready. Can you come back? Bad news. Ah. Oh, wait, what you got? What you got? are under attack. You didn't build your base just to be blown up, did you? You mined out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? Nothing will stop. Oh, the timing sucks. What a brutal way. What a brutal hit for him to throw at me, huh? Can't give up now, can I? Your 
Research complete. Ah. Your research has concluded. Ready, this game. Damn. I tried so hard, bro. I tried so hard, man. Crazy. Like I said, every game, man, it's just hard. It's just hard to beat. It's just really hard to deal with the mass gateway units. There's just nothing that's very good against it. Let's go next. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep on cruising, but I think we're done with the ranked games for today. <laughs> I think it's pretty I think it's pretty clear we don't want to queue ranked while these people are online. I'm very glad the last, like, four games have been unranked. We got our MMR back today, and then we stopped. That was the smart move. I've had absolutely nothing but Protoss players. Just literally, they, are, they all play perfect, right? Like, I'm obviously not better than any of them. So it's just like, there was no way I was going to win. With the skill gap being that big, you know? And now I've got another barcode Protoss player. I think mentally... Mentally, I'm like in the bottom of the well at the end of the first ring movie, you know? It's about it's about where I'm at right now. I can see that people are still watching the stream, so I'm like, alright, I'm just gonna endure this pain for you guys. I love you. That's about it. That's all that's keeping me going. Hey, Katie. Good to see you. Online, let's go kill. Uh -huh. 
challenge is complete. Here comes the pain. Hidden? What's it worth? Done. I'm going. I'm going. I'm listening. SCB ready. Channel drop. And the ring. What's going on? You got coordinates or what? SCB ready. Done. Swap away. Ready. Gonna have me some fun. On the way. Whole lot of pain. Fair enough. Show me who you want to die. SCB ready. Channel's clear, boss. All right. Huh? Command center 2.0, ready to go. Adjusting for new coordinates. Cyclone on route. SCV ready. Big jump. SCV ready. In the rear with the gear. SCV ready. Your research is ready. Come back. SCV ready. It is just going to be another... It's going to be the same thing we just went against, that's all. It's going to be it's going to be a charge lot drop. He's going to drop charge lots into our base while hitting us with a bunch of other crap basically. <sighs> Another big gateway push incoming.
It's just, I just nothing I do really ever is enough, you know. Like he's, uh, he's just got the exact amount of units that even though he has no, no detectors, I still can't shred his army fast enough. You know what I mean? It's like everything was still kind of going my way, but at the same time, it's just not enough. It's brutal. Just keep getting hit with these crazy huge pushes. That makes it tough, man. Makes it tough. Nobody that I've played today has made any mistakes at all. You know how hard you know how hard it is to compete with that. You guys know how hard the game is when your opponents don't make any mistakes. I haven't played a single Protoss player that's fucked up once today. It's crazy. I just have not been able to catch anybody slipping, no matter what I do. It is it is brutal. It is brutal out here. Here you go. He's coming back again. I'm stuck on two bases with no hope of ever getting a third. No matter what I do to defend myself. And he is probably on like four bases. Just chilling. Living his life. He's got no complaints. I'm stuck, man. I'm so stuck. He's probably got the gold, right? Be my guess. I got my ears on. Uh, that's impressive that he doesn't. Loud and clear. Right. Your base is under siege. Ah, there is no, there is no respite for me. Not for Nathan. All right, GG. I can't get away. I can't get away from him, guys. I can't get away from him. I'm getting I'm getting all in by Prodots nonstop today. I appreciate you guys watching anyway. I don't I don't think any of this has been very interesting, but I I do appreciate those of you who tune in and regardless. God bless you guys for dealing with this. The quest for glory begins. All right, what do we got this game? Taryn. Huh? Holy what? shit. I thought they were all dead. Huh? Thought there were no more Taryn players. What's going on? Yep.
Center upgrade complete. What's it worth? Fair enough. On the way, certainly. Yes, indeed. Agreed. Let's do that. SCV ready. All right, done. What? You want something? All right, there's the fusion core. You have onion rings instead of fries? No, no substitutions. No substitutions here, sorry. If you want nothing on the side, that's also acceptable. You think it's possible to keep frozen onion rings in the same place that I would keep my frozen french fries? You kidding me, bro? Think so little of me? Got him! There you go. There you go. We finally, Nathan finally wins another game. How did Nathan do it? How did he finally win another game today? Well, you see, he just didn't get put versus a Protoss player building outside of his base. It's actually kind of remarkable. Some said it couldn't be done. They said, Nathaniel, you're crazy. Star Command will never, never permit this. Oh, I just snapped a very long losing streak, guys. I just snapped a very long losing streak. Now I'm going to pee, and then we'll play more. Oh.
What a day. What a gauntlet. What a ringer. Ay ay ay. What a day it's been. What a day it's been. <coughs> oh, Lewis came over. He wants to say hi. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. It's my pooch. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. I can see that future is searching for a game. He's a pro, so I'm like, I'll probably hit him if I Q. So I'm giving him a second. That pooch, he's one of my favorite dudes right there. It's one of my absolute favorite dudes. Yeah, that's uh, that's Katie's. That's Katie's setup. That's Katie's setup. I built that for her. I told I told Katie I was like your super perk your super perk for dating slash eventually marrying me is that you will never have to worry about computer crap again. I don't do any of the experimental overclock garbage on her system that I occasionally do on mine, so she does not have she doesn't have quite the same level of let's say instability, shall we? That uh, that my setup has. You know, I'm always trying... I mean, I'm literally playing SC2 on Linux, and I'm still using NDI over my Ethernet to get the video. It's like kind of crazy dark voodoo magic that I'm doing, you know? The fact that it works as well as it does, as consistently as it does, is incredible. It's incredible. Now, if only... If only uh, being a... PhD level open broadcaster software user was was a little more marketable, huh, Lewis? Yeah. I gotta start. I gotta see if I can get these uh, commentator guys to let me do their clean feeds for them. See what they're paying. I gotta find out what Mapu's charging, and I gotta make myself the discount option. <laughs> I can do a 4K 60 FPS to your local server, and then you can do whatever you want with it. I'll just be the observer for the online tournaments. I'm fine with that. Nathan Fabricant offering 4K 60 FPS clean feeds. I can do HDR if you need HDR. Bad news. Bad news. Big job. Ah. Ah. You scared me. Yeah. Bad. Smooth move, X Lax. In the rear with the gear. Costco rotisserie chicken required. You mean required or acquired? Like, did you just get it? Katie told me that she was going to get a Costco chicken on the way home from work today, so I, I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. Kind of excited about that. We both we both caught a little a little bug. We've had a little something. We've been feeling a little bleh. A little bleh, you know? A little bit bleh. Like, a, yeah, you get it, you get it.
It's just tough, man. Units are expensive, bro. Units are expensive. That's all. I just wish I could fast expand without auto dying to void rays. And then I could fast expand again. I just haven't figured that out. Living in a cold, cruel, cycloneless world is not easy. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know who's persecuted? People who build cyclones. Those people, man. They're very alone. I acquired it, but now I think you should put it in your contracts from now on. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, not bad. How are we looking on D2? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Let's see how the week goes. You know, I lay my thought process is very layered. It's Monday, right? Monday, Mondays are usually slow days. I don't expect anything from Mondays. Tuesdays, Tuesdays, I'm warmed up. You know. It's not Monday anymore. The weekly cup will be over. So you expect Tuesdays to pick up a little bit. You know, Tuesday is going to get a little more exciting. And on the exciting days, I think the stakes are a little higher. And when the stakes are a little higher, the way that I feel at the end of the day feels, you know, maybe a little more or less in whatever direction it would go in. So all of that to say, I have no idea when I would do a Diablo 2 stream if I did. But we did play some Diablo this weekend, and uh, I think what I'll probably do the next time that I do that, so if you guys don't know, I posted in the subscriber section of my Discord channel uh, the lobby info, and we just played a little bit of D2 Remastered, so that was kind of awesome. I'd like to stream the game. It'll obviously depend on how many people are actually interested in watching it, you know, I'm I won't just I won't just broadcast it if it's not something that people want to watch. I gotta I gotta I gotta work, you know. But um, I think it's not even about streaming it. But it's just one of those things that I'd I'd like to have more opportunities to do stuff with you guys occasionally, you know. So it's really about it. Not everybody plays A Rams. They're a bit of a time commitment, you know. But if I'm like, guys, I'm gonna play Diablo 2 for two hours. I'm going to be like, boom, guys, from 10 a.m. to noon on Saturday, I'm playing D2. If you have a character that's within 10 levels of 15, you can join. That's it. Boom. Simple as that. You know, that's kind of how I'm thinking about it. Like, long term. Long term, that's ideally the way that it works, you know. And then on a Saturday, a couple people, hopefully, once we get this going, will be like, all right, yeah, guys, let's hop on kind of a thing. And just having that having that as a as a thing would be cool and then i think if i was uh hypothetically having like a hard week you know like i was having a hard week starcraft wise like it was just really really tough uh like mentally for me or whatever you know there's another big reddit post or some some dumb shit that i'm losing my mind about then that's when i have diablo in my pocket to be like all right i'm just gonna stream this and we'll still, I'll still invite everybody off the Discord to come join the lobby. But as far as when I'm going to do that goes, you know, Star StarCraft is my main is my main thing on the stream until I can stream Stormgate full time. So I want to make sure that uh, I'm getting getting my time in on this because it's been more fun than previously. I would have probably streamed a lot more Zero Space if uh, StarCraft 2 didn't drop this patch, for example. You know, like stuff like that, really. This patch has just been really good. I've been having a lot more fun playing StarCraft 2 than I typically do. So most of my plans to play other games or stream other games are kind of on the shelf. I'm just going to play this until I burn out again because it's a part of it's a part of my process. You know, I got to I got to get to the point where I get kind of bored or tired of playing it without it coming out in a bad way too. So And maybe that won't happen. We'll see. I like the game a lot right now though, so that's that's the real answer. That's the short answer. 
Nathan's having more fun playing StarCraft than he has in quite a while, and for that reason, for that reason, I don't really, I don't really care to play anything else right now. However, Katie and I have really been liking Fallout. And I don't know how many people play Fallout 76, but I saw that if you stream the game and people sub to you, they can get like a limited edition item in the game. So it kind of just feels like a no-brainer that I should at least try to do a stream of the game. Like, I should just see, right? So I'm going to talk to Katie about that. But I think it would be pretty... <coughs> excuse me. I think it would be pretty fun. I think it would be pretty fun for us to do something. Um... As long as, you know, like, we'll we'll try to plan it. We'll find a mission that looks cool or something, and we'll be like, guys, our plan today is to do this mission. And that way, we'll have a pretty set goal. And that that way, uh, the time commitment is a little more predictable for her that we're not just going to stream for five hours. Uh, but we can still do, like, a full thing start to finish that everybody can watch. And it'll be like, Nate and Kate do this big thing kind of deal. So... That's that is something that I'm thinking about just because that TV show that TV show single-handedly got us to try that game again because we're both just kind of we're both just kind of feeling Fallout vibes now. You know? If we were a 90s uh, or 2000s rock group, we would be the Fallout boys. Yeah, so I mean that that's really about it. It's not not too much crazy going on again. You guys like it when I do Banshee Harass, I think. Look at me go. His name is Cortex, like Neo Cortex. Like the guy from Crash Bandicoot. Why is this guy experimenting on Bandicoots anyway? Of course, the difficult part about this kind of situation is that the Banshees do a lot of damage, but because they're all dying, I'm not really, I'm not like accumulating any kind of snowball. If I got enough Banshees, eventually, eventually I think I just break him and he can't do anything. But at this point, that may no longer be on the table. So just things to keep in mind. Right, right. Cool, 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 cool. Katie, Katie, I want us to find a really cool quest and be like, let's just do this full quest and that's it. You know, we don't, we don't have to do like an endless five hour stream or something together, but we could do like, uh, we could have like a goal. We could like have an actual goal, like find a cool ass mission to do or whatever and just stream that, you know, kind of do it like one shot style, if that makes sense. I mean, do I feel bad for the Protoss? No. Look what Protoss did to me today. And at the same time, this is another reason why they don't really let you macro, so. What was the difference this game? It's because the Banshees were there faster. I think this game, if I recall correctly, I did not do anything other than go straight to Banshees, right? I did not build a tank or the command center first. I'm pretty sure I went directly to Banshees. Yeah, I did. I went straight to Banshees above everything i maybe that's what gave me the opportunity to get the damage in early enough to keep us alive we can do it on saturday see that'd be fun that'd be fun katie and i play a little play a little fallout saturday 420 blaze it stream there you go there you go We're getting some good games in. We're getting some good games. Yeah, obviously, if I'm actually having fun playing StarCraft, which this this since this patch, really, I have been. Like, I, I just don't see a reason to stream anything else. This is what most of my audience wants to watch. People show up for this. 
I'm actually, you know, I want to play it a lot more than usual. So there's just really no reason to play anything else. <laughs> I love crazy. Barton Mouth. Oh, we got a Zerg. Zerg alert. Zerg alert. Zerg alert. That's why everybody, you guys know how hard it is. To, you know how hard it is to keep the, the hype up when I'm getting all in by Protoss for two hours. We finally get a T. This is our first TVZ since, since the stock market closed. KD, where, where were we going? Go ahead. Yeah, I know, right? I'm like, look, I'm trying to bait the viewers in. You guys, like, you guys forget, man. Back in the day, I don't do what I used to. But back in the day, I would just never leave my base sometimes. These days, if a game is going too long, I'm pretty happy to just die. Like I'm happy to just push once I'm max. I'm not. I'm not gonna try and drag it out that far. But we used to play. We used to play quite a few, like 45 to an hour and a half length games. I think the biggest reason why we don't is obviously the resource change and Legacy of the Void kind of changed things big time. But we've been playing on that version of the economy for more than half of starcraft 2's existence so that's not really that's not really uh much of a statement is it love that idea for saturday first part star bag second fallout yeah yeah i think that'd be fun so i think that would be fun Yeah, I think I think that'd be fun. I think that'd be fun. We can do we can we can do it real in a really easy way. Like we just find something specifically that we want to do, and then it won't we won't get lost or make it too uninteresting. We'll find a good quest or something that looks like oh yeah hey we could probably do this in an hour or two, and then you guys can watch me blow it while she carries me up the mountain like Madame Zeroni. My references are off the chain. Sorry, I'm just picturing a, like getting. I'm picturing like 15 battle cruisers floating around, and I'm I I don't I don't know. I'm already playing out like the second half of this game in my mind. Spoiler: It gets it gets pretty good if I don't die to a roach all in. H anytime you see my mouth twitching, wait, what's really happening is I'm Doctor Stranging. Just going through my going through my time stone, you know. <laughs> Truth, that's probably that's probably the most accurate description I can give. Close the door, close the door. I slam the door, I hit ignore. 
Oh, he's got an overlord at my base. That's not very cash money. Zerglings. They're Zerglings, Lester. It's a smaller kind of Zerg. Nate's salivating at the idea of toasted Zerg. I am. I am, though. Have you had, have you had, like, fresh toasted Zerg? It's like the opposite of a Hot Pocket. It's like, it's like the perfect temperature, you know? Because obviously the only reason I would ever mention a Hot Pocket is to talk about food being too hot. It's true. It's true. Except for the center. The center, the dead center, ice cold. Literally like shard of true ice in, imbued by Elsa. All of it. All of it. I'm talking about like that Frost World from Metroid Prime. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. You feel me? I know you played Metroid Prime, obviously. Your SCVs are under attack. hold them alone. Your SCVs are being liberated in the worst way. On one hand, I've played this guy enough times to know that he probably should expect BCs from me, which is why I'm not doing my BC build. But on the other hand, I can't I can't help but wonder if sometimes when my opponents see me metagaming myself, I can't help but wonder if sometimes somebody in a position like his might just simply say, oh, thank God. Thank God it's not the double. You think you think they ever say that like in their minds like oh my god thank thank god he thinks he's being smart by only building one on some level on some level you have to imagine sorry guys yeah it's not it's not the most exciting dinner talk i know Whole point of this is just take the battle cruiser for a walk with the Raven, clear out all the creep tumors. That's probably the biggest thing that we can really do to mess with him now. There you go. We got the Dorito cannon with the auto turret support. I mean, it's pretty intense. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage to hit him with. And then really the big key is you just continue to get all the creep tumors, right? Like it's just such a big deal. And it means so much to the Zerg player, the, the tumors they do. So as you see, the Raven, the Raven dies, yeah. And that's like, it sort of sucks. But at the same time, it's the beginning, it's the beginning of the next step. I think the only thing I really regret is that I definitely should not be getting attack for ships i shouldn't be getting ship weapons i don't i don't know how i managed to to beef that one shouldn't be getting ship weapons I have 83 SCVs, and my bases aren't even saturated. What am I doing? What is going on? I'm making a lot of stuff right now, right? Yeah. I did. I did just make a bunch of stuff. Yes. Get command centers. Get command centers. That's what somebody trying to win the game would do. Not that you know anything about. Hey, hey, hey! That's my friend. Yes. 
Uh oh. Oh, perfect. Right there, right there. Upgrade complete. Look at me. Look at me, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. We have you on screen. So Liberator got 16 kills, ladies and gentlemen. That's called gaming. No, in a situation like this, there's only one correct move to make. Wow, did he really just... Yeah, Nate, maybe it was a little in adventurous of you, huh? You think? <laughs> maybe a little, maybe a little. Smidge. Oh, he took my base. Sweet Christmas. GG. Good match. Good match. I hope we get him again. Holy crap.
All right, we got a game. Bad news. What's going on? Big. SCV ready. Roger. Uh huh. Go ahead. SCV ready. What's going on? And you know what? I still didn't actually get to check out any PUBG, but I'm gonna... I re-downloaded that. I want to give that another swing since they're going to Unreal 5 this year. I imagine that's going to be a much better performing and just better in general build of the game. It's been a long time. been a long time since I played PUBG. <laughs> Remember when? <laughs> My man hit the Benjamin, and now he's uh, roaming. He's roaming the wasteland, wastelands of Tarsonis, trying to avoid becoming Zergling Lunch. <laughs> I can't even be mad. I can't even be mad, you know. Let it burn as I cry, as I scream, and out your name, your name. <laughs> yeah, did I tell you I played a ranked game in Malzahar this morning and I won. It was beautiful. I got put against a brand and then my Lee Sin jungle, as soon as the brand locked in, said this is a free win. The Lee Sin ended up ganking my lane like five times. Absolutely beat the shit out of brand. It was incredible. And then uh, I didn't really have to do anything and we won. It was nice. All I did was just all, all I did was just press R every time Lee Sin showed up. It was very easy, you know. <laughs> didn't didn't take a tremendous amount of work. Ready to blunder. I felt like I felt like I got everything I could have wanted and more, and perhaps even a little bit less too. You don't oh. Don't get too cozy. All right then, there you go. Hey hey ho ho. Oh whoa. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. 
He's having a hard day every day. Somebody, somebody poison the water hole. Yeah, yeah. When when I, I never get a I never have Lee Sin on my team. Like you know at the high level you know at the high level Lee Sin is very good, but people don't play I I I I'm low elo. So there's not a lot of good Lee Sin players because anybody who plays Lee Sin that is good is typically in a much higher league. That's just that's just how it works. So his character that's a champion that's very hard to play so if you're good if you're good at him you rank up rather quickly so i basically caught a drive-by from somebody on their way on their way up more or less that's that's basically that's the story i just told that's all i got all right looks like it dropped oops Yeah, high high skill expression, like, you know, a anything that can be microed a lot, right? Like, that just has to be so carefully managed. Same reason why units like the Marine never got buffs. I guess technically this patch is probably the biggest that's ever happened for Marines with the upgrade cost reduction since upgrades are so important for them. So that is nice. But, like, the Marine, the Marine can't be buffed because it's already good enough to beat everything if you just micro well enough. You know what I mean? Like, there's just not really, there's not really a lot of wiggle room there because it doesn't have cooldowns. It doesn't really have abilities. Touching Stim would be, like, you know, huge, so... They got rid of Wriggler's Lantern because of him? Yeah, yeah. I've been playing, I think I started playing League in 2012, 2011. I had to hide it. I had to hide it, you know. Starcraft, Starcraft and the gate, the gatekeepers of, uh, of fun. But I played that game for a long time. I remember when Vi came out. I think I, I think I jungled. That was the only time I ever jungled. I jungled for like two or three seasons though. I jungled for a couple of seasons after after Vi came out. Her ult was so busted. Somebody would like try to thresh lantern and flash away once you lock on and it's like, nope, I'm traveling across the whole map with you, bitch. It was amazing. Too much vision in pro play. Yeah, the dev the dev blog. I read the dev blog when they did that. That was a yeah, they they determined that. Basically, vision was too powerful, so they got rid of. You used to be able to place the detector wards, and they used to, the detector wards used to be invisible. So like that was crazy good, and then they made it so that detector wards were not invisible anymore, and that was one of the biggest changes they ever made to the game. Vi player, yeah, 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 yeah. I only played Vi back with the old crew I ran with. Way back, Penn State, yeah, yeah. Or I played uh, Lux mid. Big job, huh? What's going on? Yeah. Vorpal, you're a you're a psychopath, huh? I love that. You're in good company here. No, I remember because everybody was like, Nathan, you need to start playing this with us because they just released this character. They just released this new character, Miss Fortune, and she is like basically a Marine that you just stutter step like in StarCraft. And I was like, oh my God, fine, fine. You know, I was like, fine, whatever. I'll play with you guys. So yeah, that was, that was the first, that was the first champ I played. That was the first champ I played. No, I played Vi Jungle when she came out. When Vi first came out, she was unbelievably cracked. Like she was, she was stupid good. And her passive did like 300% damage to monsters. It was jungling with her was very easy. Like her E, you just Q, you you would only need one Q and one E to clear basically any camp. 
Like to get to get wolves or wraiths, it was it was just one Q and one E. Obviously, wolves and wraiths are no longer a thing. So you know, like just remember that those aren't those are no longer in the game. But back then they were. I would, we would always do a uh, twisted tree line three v three. We do twisted tree line three v three. I would play. I would play Vi. Usually, one of my friends would play Caitlyn, and the other one would play Singed. <laughs> I was Singed or Fiddlesticks. I had a friend that only played Singed or Fiddlesticks. He ended up being a D bag, so you don't have to feel bad for him. It looked like he opened up with one base, right? Like, I didn't see an expo. Unless he took the gold on the other side of the map. It's gonna, am I going to go full Red Dead Redemption? You need gold for that. I assume you have gold to pay for that? Yeah, Twisted Tree Line, man. That was my shit. We were ranked. We were Gold League. We were Gold League. We were Gold League Twisted Tree Line team. No cap. <laughs> it was awesome. Research complete. Huh? Gangway coming through. You repeat yourself, Nate? Yeah, I do. Studies show studies show most people don't really listen until you say it at least two or three times. So if you say something interesting, odds are half the people are not paying attention and then they'll be like, oh, well, maybe, what was he saying? And that's when you say it the second time, boom. I think we're dead, right? I think we're just cooked here. GG. I don't know what we could have done there. He did proxy, though. Yeah, I thought he was cheesing us. I thought he was cheesing us. That, there's just nothing you could do against that. Thanks for the raid. Dominion? No, I didn't play Dominion, really. Nate doesn't like me, people said. And you know, Hubsay, uh, I you, you talk like you're just much younger than me, and you say some things that are a little on the edge that I don't think that I would say, or typically like to see in my chat. It's nothing personal. I just don't think we really understand each other. Let's see if we can get one more macro game. Every Protoss, every Protoss has just been chessing us today, so it's been kind of brutal. It's hard to build BCs when they're proxying outside of your main, you know? It's tough. It's a tough life. Oh, I got the same guy. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't I don't have I don't do that on the edge stuff. So, you know, I just don't. It's okay to be into the drama. It's okay. It's okay to be to be a little crass or a little crude. It's just not the you know, it's not my vibe, that's all. Well, this is the same guy. So I don't really know. I don't really know that there's anything I need to change. This map alone should make things pretty easy, right? Like I think even if he did the same thing. At the very least, our natural, we should be able to protect everything, like, just inside of this base, you know? Maybe, anyway. Or maybe he'll just do something completely different. 
Hard to say. Hard to say. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, man. I'm not sure what you're referencing either, so... All I did was say thank you, and then he's like, you don't like me? And I'm like, I don't know what to say to that, man. I don't really know you, but I appreciate you being nice to me right now. That's nice. Maybe if we have more interactions like this, then yeah, I'd probably like you, I guess. Just don't really, you know, it's kind of like we're both, we're both strangers to each other, you know? I don't really do the whole like, oh, Nate, I watched you cast for 10 years, so I know you. Because like most of those people think I'm crazy. They think I'm running my own cult or some shit. I can't. I can't do that, man. Command Center 2.0, ready to go. I just don't do the role playing anymore. I'm done with that. Yeah, I try to distance myself from anybody that I see speak aggressively about StarCraft, regardless, regardless of who you are. I just don't want anything to do with that stuff. That's all. I just don't want anything to do with that stuff. How do you have the speech to text thing in real time? Yeah, you like the captions? Yeah, I use Google. I use Google captions. I use Google captions. It's pretty dope. Yeah. We should be able to start our BC in like 10 seconds, I think. Passionately or toxic. That's my whole point, you know? Like, I don't I don't exist in that world. Starcraft, Starcraft is something that I play as a hobby because I really love this game. I don't have any other reason why I play the game. So I'm not interested in, I'm just not interested in having any conversations outside of that. That's all. like a hard thing to describe but just imagine that it's like i've seen you like for example i've seen you talk about balance and i've seen you complain or fight with other people about it and those are aspects of you that i don't want anything to do with but like i said it's not personal it's just like i don't want to go to the place where you do a certain thing but you as a person offline like not on the internet i don't know anything about that guy right so i'm sure you're a pretty normal chill guy like basically anybody else but in the context specifically of StarCraft, you might fall into a category I would describe as uh, slightly more inflammatory than the average person. So for that reason, you know, that's why I would be like, you know, I appreciate you, but like, would I want to be on a talk show with you where we have an argument about whether Terran or Protoss is OP? No, no. I don't want to argue about balance with anybody. I just don't, I just don't care, you know? It doesn't it doesn't affect my life. It doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with me. Like that part of my life is over. And if somebody hires me to talk about games, then yeah, I guess maybe I'll go on a talk show and talk about balance, but there's just no reason to do that. Besides, it's only like a complete net negative to try and pick a side anyway. People people who like to complain and argue about that stuff are incredibly mean. Those are the last people I want to interact with. I'd like to go the rest of my life where, like, all my StarCraft-related conversations are, like, you know... Like, if I, could, if I could have three questions that nobody ever asks me again, right? It'd be like, 
Oh, what about balance? Oh, is this OP? Oh, this is unbeatable, right? Like, it's just, it's just like the most watered down trash possible conversation subject, you know? Like nobody, nobody ever, nobody ever just but walks into the room and is like, hey, Nate, how do you feel about this Phoenix and the Colossus shit the Protoss guys did against Terran and GSL? Like, this seems really different. Nobody, nobody who plays this game asks questions like that. Or if they do, they don't come here to ask them. So for, for my part, I'm like, I'd rather not talk. <laughs> I'd rather not talk shop if we don't have anything interesting or positive to say. So, yeah. We don't do, we don't do balanced discussions or anything like that here. Generally, generally unproductive. I just play my very intentionally bad strategies and I maintain my top 200 status. And people who think that uh, I, don't, uh, I don't deserve to be able to be one of the best players in the game, enjoying myself, well, those people come here to mauled and everybody else comes here to vibe. And that's, that's what we do here. That's what we do here, man. Exactly, we just cruise. All these people come in here molding like, Nathan, you don't win all your games, ha ha. And I'm like, I'm literally here to build BCs. I do not give a shit if I win my games. Oh yeah, but you would only say that if you were coping, ha ha. And I'm like, yeah, these, these, that's, I mean, I think that's, I'd honestly say it's probably a quarter of my audience. It's people who just literally cannot fathom somebody playing this game for fun. I think there's a lot of people that are just like, they just cannot, they can't comprehend the idea. They only think of this game as like trial by trial by combat or some shit. So I try to avoid I try to avoid all that stuff. Got him. I killed a drone. It's pretty dope. The fantasy of being competitive, even though you're only top 50 GM. Yeah, but the thing is, being top 50 GM is awesome. That's the that's the thing. You're still one of the best. You're still one of the best in the world at one of the hardest games ever made. There's nothing nothing to be ashamed of there. If you ask, you talk to anybody who's good at this game in any serious capacity, they'll tell you the way I play. They'll tell you battle cruisers, all my stuff. They'll tell you it's all trash. It's horrible. Because pros don't do it. But it doesn't mean you can't be a top 200 player doing it. it. Just means people get jelly. A real name for grippers? I think uh, the stalkers. Yeah, stalkers. Katie likes their little crab, little crab legs that the stalkers have. Gotta get that, gotta get that Dungeous crab, you know what I'm saying? But that was like, that was my whole inner peace thing. That's like, that's the thing. That's, that's where I ended up now. It's exactly where I, you know, probably needed to much sooner, but just didn't have a support infrastructure in my life to get there. It was the number one problem that I used to have. I just took the game too seriously. I projected a bunch of stuff onto it that I shouldn't have. And I got way too upset when I lost games because I was too invested. Now I'm not. But I guess a lot of people have people in their life that don't change or ever learn, but when I set my mind to something, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at at least at least making some progress. Whether I get there or not, of course, is a little different, but I found a way to just have fun playing the game and not feel uh, not feel bad when I lose. That's about it. 
I realized that trying to make myself do stuff I didn't enjoy just because other people that didn't give a shit about me told me to, I realized I was like, oh my God, this is why I hate doing this. So now I just do whatever I want and I don't take requests and you either like it or you don't. But I'm not going to sit here losing games, trying to make Marines <laughs> just because I think some guy out there might change his mind about me if I do. Uh-oh. You know? I found great peace. I found great peace in letting go of that fear of ridicule. Yeah, guys, if it feels if it feels awkward to talk about it, maybe maybe there's maybe it's maybe it's not the thing to stay on. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't have to worry about that. So it's mostly just like any drama type stuff like that. We don't talk about. So you guys, you guys are uh, it's kind of like dragging a little bit on that subject. That's all. Hupsaya, coming in here, hitting me with the why don't you like me, and then less than five, five minutes later, here we are with the, well, you know, I think that this kind of stuff should be allowed to be talked about in your chat. Are you, what are you, what, are, what kind of position are you trying to put me in here? You're killing me, Smalls, you're killing me. My whole entire point is that everybody argues about those exact things everywhere, all the time. <laughs> I don't care if it's appropriate. We just don't, we don't do that here. That's all. That's all. I'm just massing BCs. I'm going ham. I'm going ham right now. No nothing here should be serious, except I mean you could argue it's seriously awesome. I would I would allow you to say that this is seriously awesome. That's that's very fair. That's very fair. Go to McDonald's order. Uh, yeah, probably a four-piece chicken nugget happy meal with the, the tiny fries and a McChicken. That's, that's my go-to. That way I get a little bit of everything that I want. But obviously, obviously I don't want to eat a lot of fries. I'm just really, really, they're my favorite thing on the menu. So you get the tiny, you get the tiny thing of fries, you get a couple nuggets and you get a McChicken. That's pretty good. It's pretty good move. Not me? I don't care. You're going to hear it anyway. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Unhear it? I'm feisty today. It's true. We're getting we're getting to the end of what's been a pretty good stream, so We got absolutely blasted by Protoss all day. I got to see if there's anything out there that I can look up, like Supernova. Somebody told me that Supernova renamed his Twitch account after the Korea thing, and that's why I haven't been able to find him. But I gotta I gotta see I gotta see what other builds there are. What sauce? 
Uh, regular barbecue sauce. Regular barbecue sauce. I get my McChicken with no mayonnaise. I don't like mayonnaise. Yes, come on. A very small amount in, like, tuna or something can be nice. Even a small amount on a McChicken. The problem is, of course, on a McChicken, they always put too much, so... That's why you have to get it removed. You just don't you just don't really have any choice. As you guys can tell, I've obviously, you know. Yeah, no, Nathan loves barbecue sauce. It's a that's a given. People are like, you don't like honey mustard? And I'm like, well, actually, one of my favorite barbecue sauces is based on honey mustard, so I'm playing both sides so that I always come out on top. Boom. Do you get the sweet curry in the U.S.? Curry? No, no, I wish. That'd be cool. They tried to do this, like, savory chili seasoning, but, you know, I don't really do a lot of the sauces when I go to places like that because they're made with corn syrup, so I'm going to tell you something really unhinged. Sometimes I bring my nuggets home and I dip them in my home barbecue sauce that's made with re real sugar and not corn syrup. If you're not from America, you don't have to worry about corn syrup. It's illegal where you live. That's just the stuff they put in all our food here. GG. We're balling. Balling. You like mango habanero? Yeah, of course you do. You better. Secrets to health. Drink as much water as you can and try to try your best to avoid the corn syrup when you can. <laughs> Actually, fun fact, there's uh I think Hershey dropped a new a new chocolate syrup that's only four or five ingredients. No corn syrup. I'm not going to tell you it's good. I'm just going to tell you it's not bad. My favorite international McDonald's item. I have been to McDonald's in quite a few different countries now, so let me tell you. The best international menu item that I have ever had the pleasure of consuming uh, would probably be in the Dutch McDonald's by the Amsterdam train station right next to the Museum of Sex. And that place, that place had, you could get McFlurries with, you could get McFlurries with the large peanut M&Ms, not just the regular small M&Ms. In America, you get Oreos and small M&M. That's it. You don't. There's nothing else. They don't. They don't have any other kind of. You just don't. You just don't get anything else. So, it's tough, right? But. Oh my God! Am I against heaven? Guys, he's just gonna break my face open with blink stalkers. I'm gonna go walk. I'm gonna go walk Lewis before uh, Katie gets home. Today, 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 I will say this. I will say this. We beat two. We beat two top fifty players today. So, the first four hours of the stream we did ranked. We ended up maybe like plus 10 from the start, so not too bad. We lost a good amount of games at the very beginning, and then we beat two really good players and got like plus 40 MMR on two games in a row. On like two games in a row. So with that being said, we crushed it. We did a fantastic job. And I feel like for a Monday, could have gone a lot worse. But tomorrow, there'll be no ESL Weekly Cup. And... Yeah, I'm not going to be rusty from the weekend myself. So I'll see you guys there. Streams all week. We're just playing SC2 all week, okay? Okay, I love you guys. 420 stream this weekend too. See you there.